Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we have two minters, and I'm not really sure what to think about that. Overpowering. Yeah, I'm overpowered. He's only little, though. Me? <laughs> Half a mini mint. No. Your mini, mini mini minter. Yeah. Yeah. Mini, mini, mini minter. Is that, was that in a diss track? Did someone say, like. That is somewhere. That is in a diss track. Yeah. What? You're just a mini, mini. No, that was in, like, the, wasn't that in, like, two hypes diss track? You're just a mini, 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 mini minter. Uh, that yeah. was an American one. I seem to remember. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry for this. Guy. Is, that, is that an insult sorry. or is that? Well, it was because like, I I think it was in one of the two hype ones and it was because they were a fan of me and then they said like, you're just a mini, 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 mini minter or something like that as in like, you're just a shit version of him. Oh, but it was okay. just a, a joke diss. Yeah, oh, okay. but, but you are, yeah. you are, I guess, you are that, that now. You are. The, I am now the mini, yeah. mini, mini. Yeah. Mini well, mini mentor is because I was the youngest. Exactly. But you're not the shortest. No, you're no, the tallest. tallest. Amazing. So you've won at that. So wait, our mm. oldest brother would be mini, mini mentor. I'll I mean, be. You're mini, 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 mini mentor. Right. You were shorter than me until I left the house. You never thought we were twins until we were like. Yeah. Until. Wow. Genuinely, you do look always, similar. You do yeah. actually do. You definitely do look similar. I mean, you are brothers. So, yeah. Sorry. Also, for those who are unaware, this is Nick. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is the weirdest intro ever. But, uh, yeah, this is Simon's brother. And he is actually uh, part of the uh, the What's Good podcast team. For those who don't know. So, we have we have myself and Simon, obviously. We have John filming. But then we also have uh, Nick and Joel. Joel edits. And Nick does, like, the... You do everything, really. It's a pretty big team. Well, and has. It's growing. Yeah. And has now. We've got has as well, yeah. Nick yeah. and Joel were founding members. Yeah, John's new. John's really new. John's yeah. the worst one by far. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not got a mic, so we can insult him. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was that? Oh, you agree? Oh, okay. Good. True, true. He's not, not in his head. <laughs> but yeah, no, the team's growing. It's nice. But um, yeah, so we thought we'd get you on the podcast uh, just to chat to you most importantly, but also just to maybe have some insights to the podcast behind the scenes as well. Well, as a, as a quick disclaimer, I'm hungover. And I am <laughs> so, too. We both are. So in yeah. In case uh, you catch me at any point, like... <laughs> so Nick, you might have to carry through my yeah, story. Yeah, That's yeah. What I like. just drift off. <laughs> you can have to carry this one. I'm not tired. I'm just. Yeah, we didn't go yeah. out late. No, it was just. I threw up a lot last night. Did you? Yeah. You always do. I don't think I can have. You're like a. a, a there's a very fine line for you. No, but You're I wasn't drunk. Yet. Like he was. He saw me when I was leaving. As well, well, I was very drunk though. So compared to me, <laughs> you didn't look drunk. But you yeah. might have been like tipsy. But I was. I was like, yeah, little. You know, buzzing. Buzzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got home, chilled for an hour or two, went to the toilet. I was like, yeah, this is my time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to hang out, not for videos, so we can talk about when we hang out. Because we can't talk about the night now, because it's going to ruin whatever it was. True. Mm. Let's move on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a disclaimer. Oh, yeah. It was a disclaimer. Yeah. Actually, no, that'll be a good clip for when that video does come out next week. Yeah. What mm. really happened. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah, See, Nick's, Nick's thinking now. See? Maybe this one you can plant some. Maybe you've, maybe you've already come prepared. Have you got, have you got any like things to, to drop in there? <laughs> Actually, yeah, a little notebook of titles <laughs> as long as they say them. Wow, this is a good title. Um, JD actually played us a lot of his music yesterday. Do you, you heard the album? I think I've heard every song. I, I, you I said that there was two, one he wasn't, he was refusing to play you. Yeah, and I think he played it to us yesterday. Well, we was we this one he was drunk? He was, he was drunk, yeah. He was drunk, yeah. <laughs> well, we can't, I can't, we can't say anything about the song, no, we can't, but yeah. we've heard it. It's very good. It was very good. It was very, very yeah. good, yeah. Is it, is it yeah. as different as he's saying? Because he's got a new one out that wasn't on the album on Friday, so two days' time. Yeah, I saw him tweet that. Really? Yeah, so he, he, he had a single, I think, called You on the yeah. way, and he tweeted saying that's not coming out anymore. <gasps> Instead, it's a different one. And, and when know, he tweeted I that... I know which one that is. Yeah, but then he also replied saying it's not on the album. Yeah, and then his manager was like, this kid gives me heart attack. Heart, heart, heart attack. <laughs> heart attacks. I think yeah. I know which one it is. Yeah. Okay. It's the the one that he wasn't wanting to show us. Right. And then he showed us. Okay. And we were all like, this is sick. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound awful for you guys because we can't... Well, I mean, it. it all makes sense when the song's out. Does he does he get peer pressured easy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very. It was literally, we all sat there. So one of his songs... It's the most serious Randall's ever been in this podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of his songs leaked a little bit on TikTok. It's like five seconds or seven seconds of it or something like that. Yeah. It leaked on TikTok. And we were all like, no, 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 that bangs, that bangs. Yeah, so good. Play it. And he's like, no, 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 no. And he thought we were all taking the piss out of him saying it bangs. Yeah. And then we were like, no, no, we're being legit. And then he played it and we all got a gas. We all stood up and started dancing. And he thought we were taking the piss out of him. Yeah. But <laughs> we were like, bit. you don't understand. We're all being, firstly, we're drunk. Secondly, this is amazing. <laughs> like, this, but yeah. after a while, he like, he realized that we were actually being serious. And he was just really happy. He was like, 
Yeah. But you guys, you guys <laughs> like my music for once. <laughs> but um, nah, it was fun. We, he, he was also confessing to his, you know, his crypto. You know, I'll just say, I'll just leave it at that really. I'm not going to say anymore. But yeah, he was confessing to his gains or losses. I do follow, that's the only Twitter I log on and look, because I used to look at yours. Yeah. And then obviously, yeah. What do you mean, bro? Still, <laughs> still active. You can read his old tweets if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just go back to it. Yeah. I haven't seen these ones you in ages. You don't check my Twitter to see if there's another ad coming in. <laughs> <time. laughs> but, um, but yeah, I do follow his. The KSI, KSI Crypto. crypto yeah. yeah, I love I love that Twitter because I just love reading the replies because yeah. Yeah. they all hate him. <laughs> yeah. so it's so funny just seeing like he'll tweet and everyone's like bro you're so strong <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Less, at least he enjoys it yeah true and he's got enough to be able to play around with like it's not like it's <laughs> mm, mm. he's, he's broken yeah it's still it's, <laughs> no, still, it's, it's just, bad still bad it's still bad <laughs> it's still bad but yeah um he'll be on celeb big brother in about nine years time yeah. trying to recoup the losses still. I swear, I swear you were like doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> Ass Bitcoin. Coin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah um, I, I, I was an idiot once because I actually followed one of his tweets. As in like did what his tweets? Same. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, didn't yeah, work. No, same. Yeah, didn't did work. work. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, guys, don't, don't, don't believe JJ's Twitter, guys. <laughs> but um, no, yeah. Anyway, so let's, let's, let's get into, let's get into something. Okay. What do you want to get into? Politics? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. Um, I guess. I guess. Let's talk about the podcast. Like how how we started this. You know how we got into this. Because I, okay. I actually did go back last week, two weeks ago. Um, before I knew I was coming on all that, I was just started, started rewatch because I do. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, myself. yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> <laughs> fanboy, bro. It's it's fanboy. Cracks me up. <laughs> it's not even, it's last actually, name's yeah. not even been. I actually had a phone call with <laughs> yeah. a, a good friend the other day, and we were talking about the podcast and both. Big Randolph fans, but um, sick mate! Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Wish had a I'm moment. Joking, joking. But um, yeah, no, and I went because it was all the old ones were on your channels. Yes, yeah. they weren't. Well, maybe they're they're online, right? I, yeah. I posted one, yeah. I think, or maybe two, and there was no eclipse. It was like, but it was only like a half an hour one. Yeah, um, sort of thing because it was you were speaking. There was one that I watched, whereas I think it was on your channel, and it was about um drunk stories and stuff like I that. I remember that, yeah. I think yeah. I think at the time I was really struggling for a video. We used to do that a lot and like if we needed something we just used to take from the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Probably still could do that, but I mean now that we've got the channel doing so well, like thanks to yourself, then um, you know, it makes sense just to keep it on, on one roof. Yeah. So you so you, you didn't start with us from the, at the start then, I guess that's uh, no, because we did the yeah. we did them in the house. Yeah, we, we did one that never we did one that was audio only. Yes. And that did it ever go out? I feel like it didn't. Or was it just audio only? I think there is there is <clears> one on Spotify. That isn't on YouTube. There was one that we were chatting about. The Vidal's very party. It was the very first Go one. Listen. Remember we were chatting about Vidal's party. It was at Cal and Cal's house and Harry's house. And we were talking about that on the first ever podcast. Oh. But I'm not sure where it went. Or, or maybe there was an audio issue. Because it, it, it was the test episode. Is like, this going to be one of those ones in like 10 <clears> years <throat> time? It like resurface. Maybe. Maybe it'll have to post it. And it'll be like it. worth. It'd sell it as an NFT. Nah, <laughs> we're not smart enough. We, we're also too know. lazy. I can't yeah. be able to figure out how that works. No, no. But um, yeah, so we, we must have started on the channel then. And I guess when we moved to a new channel, yeah, that's when you guys came. I think it board. actually was conceived um, in your bedroom. <laughs> it was we just after you did a. You were conceived in my bedroom. No, no, the idea for what's <laughs> that's good. It's a, oh. a weird one. <laughs> yeah. How was Nick conceived? Yeah. Um, for it was just after a video where you donated to Twitch streamers. I think. Yeah, because I had like oh. sitting there and we're like, we should. Oh wow! Because a... you were there, right? you were. You, we yeah. were all doing the dollars. We're, we're, you were both, both of you, right? Yeah, you, yeah. you, you was on the bed, yeah. um, and I was on the chair next to you. And that's yeah. when you guys were like, oh, we're thinking about maybe clips oh, and like, get this going. And you had obviously talked about it before. Yeah. But I think that's when like it started to to snowball. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? I miss videos like that. I know. I, to be fair, so I missed the fun. house. That was a lot of fun then. Yeah, she's like just film stuff randomly. Mm. There was always something going on at that. Oh yeah, always something. Yeah, that's why. That's why I enjoyed it. If it wasn't you, it was like it was. Well, it was always you two first. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say it was mainly always me. Yeah, I guess. I, I, the thing is, I, I went there to obviously see JJ originally at the start. Cause I used to film stuff for him, but then he was always like, I would get there and film like for two hours, and then nothing, nothing for the rest of like the next three or four days. So then me and you would just film stuff. But you would like yeah. it was it was almost called Randolph's room. The one it was next yeah. to yours, wasn't it? it was, yeah, so you, you got it replaced by Deji. Deji's room. Yeah, yeah. Because Deji came and lived there for however many months. Yeah. I, so I, sometimes I would stay upstairs. Sometimes I, was, I was, sometimes I would stay downstairs. Sometimes Lockland was there. Sometimes like Raka Raka were there. Um, they yeah. didn't stay in that room though. 
No, they stayed. They're in, weird. They stayed I in love the podcast them. room. I love they, them, they, stayed, they stayed in the, the film room, right? They, no, uh, one of them stayed in the film room. So right. we had like the cinema room upstairs. One yeah. of them would sleep in there, and one of them would sleep downstairs in the living room that we never went in on the couch. Yeah, or, or on the floor with a, with a blanket, or just did they just sleep? Why? They, they're so weird in, they're, in, in in a nice way. Like they had a bed, and they yeah, they thought no, nah, like floor. so. But they also Strange. when they came to England, they felt bad about asking to stay with us. They stayed in a castle, that, you know, like just an abandoned, like not yeah. an abandoned castle, but just not a built castle. Yeah, like ruined. They just slept that. Yeah, yeah. yeah slept it, there. They didn't like book a room. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they, they literally did that. Yeah. And then I was yeah. like, they told me that, and I was like, you guys realize you could because they were going to come to ours for a bit, and it was you know like a few days, and then I found out they were they were already in England, and I was like, oh, what are you guys doing then? And they were like, oh, we're just staying in this place <laughs> I don't know and then I was like well, just come here like now like, and they would I know always... we said we we're filming for three days but just come for all of it yeah and they would always feel bad about eating with us as well like, what, like so, oh, so we'd order some food like... or something and then we'd be like oh what do you guys want and they're like oh no no we can't we can't yeah so they would have like, like a piece of bread he'd, he'd, he'd get a piece <laughs> no legit he'd get like a slice ducks, of bread just checking yeah. out the doorway so he'd get a slice of bread and then he'd spend the next like three minutes just doing this with the bread until it was in a bowl and then he'd eat the bowl I say he, there was two oh, of them. Yeah, yeah, but they but both did it. They both did it. <laughs> and then there was one time where we actually went out to, um, we went out to the to the shopping centre and we just got drunk. In a oh, shopping yeah. centre. So, Living yeah. the high life is YouTube. What, we were going to a party or something, like a sideman party or something like that, yeah. or some sort of an event. And then they needed some clothes for it because they didn't really bring this. any smart clothes. So Blue we, water, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. we drove yeah. out there. You drove. It was me, you, JJ, and the Raka Raka guys. Um... I didn't get drunk, just to clear no, 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 up. I was driving. I was driving. It was actually quite soon after you got your car, I think, because you were showing us autopilot. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we went there and we were like, oh, let's get some food before we go and get the clothes or the shoes, whatever we were getting. And we just went and just had cocktails. And then we, then we was like, oh, let's, let's have another one. Let's have another one. And then we're just wasted. <laughs> so like walking on the shopping center trying to buy some food. And we're just gone. And that's when, uh, that's when someone was prank calling JJ's phone. So they would they they would take the phone and be like, ah, oh, what's that, mate? What the fuck's going on? Like this, you'd be an Australian, um, great accent. And then one time it rang again, and they gave the phone to him, and he's like, what the fuck is this? And it was Chris Eubank. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They they say to him like, oh, it's it's someone actually for you. Like they, they, they yeah. know you, and they said something, and then you're just like, yeah, it's Chris Eubank, and Jay was just like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not even Chris Eubank Jr. Like you'd, you'd imagine no. that it's a bit bantery, but it was like actually Chris Eubank. Yeah, yeah we probably wouldn't really appreciate. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two yeah. guys going like, "What the fuck do you want?" <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I missed the house. It was a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, I miss them as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. I mean, bro, you make it, <laughs> now you make it sound like I don't miss them. <laughs> no, I miss the house more than them. Yeah, yeah. same. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah, um, but no, yeah. So I guess uh, yeah, 2018 we started this right. And it's now 2021, so technically is that yeah. three years? The first, the first like six months was quite sporadic. Yeah, and then you guys got into a real nice rhythm of like every. Which I'm sure week. you and Joel appreciate. Oh yeah, there's many times where you guys were like, "Are you doing a podcast? Are we anyone? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah we'll do it later. Yeah, maybe, or maybe tomorrow. guys, we did a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess one thing that you'd probably hate about the schedule now is that we post on Wednesdays and we often film. Well, today's a Tuesday. And then also what Joel probably doesn't appreciate is we've got four cameras now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, so yeah. Sorry, Joel. But, you know, you've got to up the quality. The other thing is we have to film on a Monday or Tuesday because everything always happens after oh, we film. That's the you worst. know it as well, yeah. When you you know the curse. Me, I'll text you and be like, oh, have you just seen what happened? Logan Paul's just said or something like that? And you'd be like, yeah, we literally just finished. And it came yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, we've just, we've just talked about how Jake, we don't know Jake Paul's next fight. And then two hours later, it's like, Jake Paul's fighting this person. We post it two days later and everyone's like, yeah. What do you mean you don't know who he's fighting? It's everywhere. <laughs> Especially when we also like make our opinion on something that... Oh, the Super League. Yeah, exactly. The, yeah. Super so League the, the information League. changes. Yeah. So like the, the, the Jake Paul situation is like, oh, okay, they just didn't know. Yeah. But it's stuff like the Super League. It's like people now think we're being idiotic because yeah. they have the information that we didn't have at the time. <laughs> and you can't really... See, like We can do a disclaimer, but no one will understand because they know the information. So they can't yeah. think... So it's crazy, really. But um, John was fuming. We had like a two-hour conversation about football, and he had to just sit there and listen to it. And it didn't even mean anything. Yeah, he hasn't <laughs> it. I feel like not only do you have not an interest in football, you also don't like it, do you? That like you dislike it. Yeah. God, he must hate the Sidemen videos. <laughs> Guess we what we're doing this week. We don't invite him to those ones. He doesn't come to those. 
So it was like, which angle, guys? Where's the goal? What what is a goal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess being as we've got you on on the podcast today, and obviously you're you're so let's let's first of all describe what you do for the for the podcast. Okay. Um. So I basically the thumbnails is probably the main thing. Mm. Um. Sorry, Chris MD. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do so I do those. Um. Talia didn't know the other day because when we were at home and you said something like, oh, Nick does a podcast, she went, oh, Nick does thumbnails. And I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've realized we can't have girls on the thumbnail and on the podcast. No, I have to say. They all, they, all they, they all hate the thumbnails. Yeah. Even, Le- even Lexi? I think so. Really? They all just, yeah, they all, yeah. For the main ones now, I send like, I do send it and be like, can you I know, it? and they always go, yeah, that's fine. And then they go, oh, I hate it. Uh, yeah. 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 Anyway, but yeah, so I do the Chris thumbnails. Chris as well. He's also one. one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we come up with the titles. And, and titles as well, for yeah. the clips and the mains and all that. But um, it's, it's more collaborative than just, you know, here's a thumbnail, here's a thing. And everyone, yeah. We do all work together. So like I'll always ask, like, for the main one especially, mm, is, is this, this a good one, title? Yeah. Is this a good thumbnail? And you guys sometimes be like, no, change this bit, change this bit. Sometimes like minute little color changes and stuff. So it's. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always like more saturation, <laughs> more, saturation. <laughs> more contrast. More saturation, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but um, you, so I, I guess you, your kind of role is just to make sure that everything like gets posted and pro- and properly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you kind of you kind of like just make sure the whole channel runs. Um, big, yeah. big. If we didn't have you, we wouldn't post. We wouldn't post. We'd film it and just forget. <laughs> we <laughs> we like, oh yeah, we filmed one last Surely week. Surely we should have made some money from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Um, but yeah, so since you do that, since you're in, ch- in charge of the titles and the thumbnails, I guess you want this podcast to do very well. Um, so we we'll probably let's talk about some actual topics that are going on in the world because often with often with guests we don't do that. We, That's true. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, like a lot, a lot a lot of stuff's been happening recently and we've not sh- spoke about it. So there's Logan Paul Mayweather next week. The that sixth. is on the sixth. So, so this is time. the last po- podcast before. Before, that. okay. Well, yeah. Let's let's get some predictions going. We also have Jake Paul now announced it's fighting Tyron, Tyron Woodley, Woodley. Yeah, which is ridiculous. And they'll be doing a face to face, face off, something to do with faces, right? On Friday, really, really. Wait, when's this fight meant to be happening? Oh, they haven't announced yet, but I think that's how they're going to announce it. Is they'll have a that's I read that online. I don't know how true it is because Jake Paul, we never yeah, know, like you never know. But and then obviously the Tyson. Fury or not Tyson Fury, um, the other Fury. Tommy, Tommy Fury. Tommy, Tommy Fury. That fight was never going to happen. Do you reckon one day? It might happen one day, but it was never going to happen now. No. Because it doesn't make sense for either of them, really. Yeah. Because Tommy Fury might be very good. And that would be risk for Jake. Whereas Jake beating Tommy would stop his entire career. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I think it would... I think Tommy wants to fight more than Jake wants to fight. Oh yeah, 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 a yeah. lot of money in that fight. Yeah, like it's, pro- it's like I mean, unless Tommy goes on to be like world champion, it's probably more money in that fight than any other fight he'll ever have. Yeah, potentially. And I don't want to, you know, presume. He seems but... to be doing all right though. I don't. Oh think yeah, yeah, he's... for sure. Yeah, the, the, the Love Island stuff's going well. Yeah, his relationship's going well. It looks like so. Yeah. Congrats, Tommy, if you're watching. If you're watching this podcast, <laughs> you smash life. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you reckon, Logan v Mayweather? Well, Give us I'm, the I, prediction. I'm still trying to figure out whether it is actually like a, a legitimate fight. Like I know it is happening. And so it's exhibition, so it won't count on the records. Yeah. But as far as we're aware, there's no head guards. Right. And I believe the gloves. I don't actually know if the gloves, but I assume if it's exhibition, they might make the gloves yeah. slightly bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Well, I've just had brain freeze. I don't know what I was going to say. Well, from in my opinion, it's like, well... <laughs> Yeah, so it's not going to go on the record either way. Whatever happens, if Logan wins, if, if Floyd wins, it's just an exhibition, you know. It's... Oh yeah, that was it. If it's exhibition and it goes all the distance, or like goes yeah, the distance, yeah. I don't think there's even a winner. Yeah, so it's like it's like the Tyson fight, right? The Tyson. Um... Ooh. But they'll both come out being like, "Yeah, I won that." Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone like, will still look at. I mean, yeah. ultimately, if it goes the distance, Logan's the winner. The thing is, if if then, Logan, yeah, 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 if he makes it, if he makes himself look good, yeah, yeah that's what he needs he's to do. The winner, yeah, if he wins. But well, I, f- I think if he wins, then it's like that destroys all sort of like my size people boxes. Because I, <laughs> right, then it's okay. like no matter how good you are at Mayweather's size, a big bloke can train for a couple of years and beat you. Yeah. That's like, that's the effect it will have. Well, that's what I mean. You know how everyone always says like he's the greatest boxer of all time or whatever. If Logan puts up a good fight against him, then just because of size, the greatest boxer of all time has to be a heavyweight. 
or like a heavier fighter. Yeah, I th- mm. yeah, for sure, I, I, definitely. But and I guess that that's why weight classes exist, really, isn't it? To make sure that yeah. people who are really good can still be really good in in their own in their own you know category. But he's unreal though, like Floyd. Just oh, so, just clear so up. I don't I don't think Logan's gonna win. Oh yeah, in any yeah, way. Yeah. I think it. I reckon third or fifth round. TKO, like, stop it. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like, that's why yeah. it's an exhibition match, because, like, it, it would never make sense. Um, not not only, like, physically, but also, you know, like, why would Floyd take it, you know, and, and risk his record? But he won't now, because there's no risk to it. There's probably a risk of maybe embarrassment, but yeah. for the amount of money they'll make, which I think is going to be a lot, Floyd's been saying 100 million. I don't know if that's true, but... Yeah, I've got no idea. I don't know. It, 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 Although I feel like his pride is... His pride is, like, he is someone that heavily relies on pride so for him to lose that Mayweather yeah yeah that's why yeah. I say Logan Paul not so much he's quite I mean loses, there is he'll make a meme of himself yeah exactly. but there is nothing yeah. to lose like if you lose the, the greatest boxer of all time yeah, oh, yeah. funny L- though if it was like literally like the bell goes and Mayweather just like ducks one and knocks him straight <laughs> out it would be yeah. the funniest thing but he'll meme that himself won't he like you yeah. said I think Logan won as soon as the contract was signed yeah or as soon as the fight yeah. was announced but I think that's also why they pushed it back because the hype wasn't really there which it was true wasn't it like there wasn't really much yeah. hype around the fight it, it, immediately they kind of needed the extra few months to kind of it definitely pump it up now, a little bit I feel. yeah mm. are you gonna watch it oh well, yeah i'll watch it yeah i don't know if i'm gonna watch it live though because we've got cyber filming on the monday uh, it's sunday night Ooh. it's like the sunday going into the monday can't you do cyber reacts and watch it live together well yeah we've got main side video on monday so what are you doing I don't even know. <laughs> I can't even remember. Fine, oh, I, I do know actually. Excited. I do know what we're doing. I can tell you after. You'll find it cool. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, I won't stay up and watch it. I, I mm. tried to stay up and watch the Jake Paul Gibb fight, and that's about the only one that hasn't oh. involved JJ. Of like, yeah, so all the guys went to Miami to watch that fight, and I, I didn't yeah. go. I think at the time I was doing something that I, I couldn't really, I couldn't really justify going. Um, but but I, obviously, I wanted to support Gibb, so I stayed up all night. And obviously it happened so quick. And I was like, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you know, that was a disappointing, you know, 5 a.m. It's always later than they say as well, isn't it? Like, because no one knows. No one knows when they're yeah. going to go. Even they don't know when they're going to fight. So they can always give it like a, 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 they can only give a prediction. But in America, as we know in the UK, a fight's going to start at 10, probably start like 11 o'clock, half 11. But it feels so much worse when you think the fight's going to start like at 3 a.m. And you're yeah. there at like 6 a.m. You're like, where's the fight? Yeah. Especially with the Jake Paul and Ben Askren one, because it got pushed back as well. Oh, and I was just yeah. sat there watching people perform like, <laughs> what, what, what is going on? Like, they, they, to be fair, the performances were better than I thought they were going to be, but I was like, "Why? <laughs> why, why is this happening?" Um, but what, so what time is it meant to be? The Logan Logan fight? It's Vegas, right? Yeah, um, I thought it was midnight, but so it's Vegas. It's, it'll be yeah. Yeah, apparently it's like four. Yeah, like that. Because they're a solid. I just don't think I can. I don't think. Ah, uh, if it was an exhibition, I would definitely. Mm. But it's, it is. So I'm like, I. I, I uh, they they don't make a, much of a deal of it because obviously they, they can't really promote it as an exhibition all the time because then it's like well it's kind of, you're kind of promoting a fight that's got risk that has that under you know underneath yeah. hasn't got risk to it but um I think Logan though he's gonna have a good walkout song if he doesn't yeah, that's like he's got to like shorty it's your birthday whatever that song is yeah like, yeah he's got to have something short or like something related that's just gonna goad yeah yeah Mayweather I'm excited he, for it I think I think it's gonna be a good event and and a I don't know, I don't know if it'll be a good a good fight. Yeah, that, that's. I'm not really. I don't know. I'm kind of more excited in a weird way for the. I don't know if I am for the, tic- the TikTok. TikTok and music, yeah. yeah, I feel like. I think I am for that. But that's been letting me down is more that and more you recently. Know Gib. Yeah, Gib and Deji, like, I guess. Gib and Deji went in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know because I don't care about the main fight of that TikTok one, the Austin McBroom versus Bryce. So mm-hmm. didn't know them until the fight. So I, mean, I don't care, but I still want to watch it. So. Yeah. I actually think I care more about I yeah that one like that one I will stay up for sure. But then Gibbs one is an exhibition as well, right? Yeah, they're all exhibition. They're all, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, that's, that's what always puts me off. I'm like I was trying to like that's why I've been enjoying Jake's journey. To be fair, because like, like exhibition fights. Yeah. yeah. So that's why there's an issue with Gibb and Taylor for the head guards, right? Yeah. So I think that's what Taylor was saying. He was like, I would love to actually take them off, but like we ha- we can't. We're not allowed to. Oh, not pro fight. Guards, no, they? they're not wearing head guards. Did they change that then? I it was that it was either head guards and lighter gloves or. Uh, no head guards and heavier gloves. Right, okay. I think they went no head guards. Okay, and yeah. Like 16 ounce or something. But, but like. I guess even, even that reason then is probably why they have to go with heavier gloves. Yeah. Because Gibb them. was like, oh, you know, I wanted to use 12 ounce gloves or whatever. And, and no head guards. Yeah, no yeah. head guards. And then Taylor was just like, I mean, you signed what I signed. It says, it says yeah, this. We yeah. can't change it. I hope Gibb does a, a walk like his first fight. 
like his ring walk doing yeah, that. Yeah. That was the funniest way he just like turned around. Oh, yeah. this. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't like, ah, oh, this fight is going to hurt me. Well, that's why we, that's, that's why we enjoy the Jake Paul, Vash Grin, Logan Paul, Floyd, because we haven't, we have no like involvement in it really. Yeah. Like obviously yeah. I guess, I guess it can be team YouTube a lot of the time, but it is still Jake Paul. But with like, even Deji, like, you know, we've all, you know, had issues with Deji in the past, but I still want him to win. I'll still be, I'll still be yeah. nervous for him, you know? Um, but yeah. Who do you want to win, Logan or Mayweather? Just want to, not think, will. Who do I think will? No, who do you want who to? Who do I want to win? I, honestly, I want Mayweather to win. Oh, see, I want Logan to win. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of want Logan to win because it would be a, such a what the hell moment. But I just think the repercussions will get so annoying right. so quickly. Like it would damage boxing, is that what you think? It would, uh, yeah, but I don't really watch too much boxing, yeah, so yeah. that doesn't bother me. I just know, like, you would then have Jake would go on another level, like in terms of ego. Logan, like, I'm, I'm liking Logan the last. Recently, yeah, yeah. And you just know he would revert back to being a. I'm the greatest boxer of all time. Yeah. Which I like, would be funny, but then it would get like, I don't know if it would, I don't know if I'd enjoy it as much after the initial shock. True. Yeah. Because I think Logan, Logan has definitely changed a lot recently, but that, that that's because it's had failures, isn't it? And like, you have to yeah. change your, the way you are seen because yeah. otherwise you look like, like also, I idea. find him so much funnier in failure. Than yeah. He is yeah. In victory. Like, yeah. cause he, he gets a lot of dubs. Like, yeah. in life in like the pokemon thing and yeah yeah of, like massive like he he does well and they, they're fun but he is quite funny when he you know mucks up yeah true true so i guess yeah if he beat the greatest boxer of all time yeah. and to be fair even if i if i beat the greatest boxer of all time i'll be letting you know every single day yeah, yeah you would be yeah i wrote be a like, shirt i was like i beat floyd with every day of my life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'd be like jj after he beat joe weller where he went to sainsbury's <laughs> with like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah um he's so mad though that that wouldn't even go on his record. Yeah. Logan has just beaten still Floyd Mayweather. He's still <laughs> own one or oh one one. Yeah, it doesn't count. But I, I, yeah, I think I want Logan. I want well, I, I have nothing against Floyd. You know, I I enjoy watching him fight and I and I give respect to him for being so good. Mm. Um and his career, his great career. But yeah, it'd be it'd be funny to see Logan beat him just because yeah. it would shake the world. But also I guess as a YouTuber or as a content creator, it would progress. I mean it, boxing has progressed this whole space a lot. Even like JJ, what JJ and, and what well, JJ and Joe did, well, what Theo and Joe did, <laughs> then JJ and Joe, and then JJ and Logan it moved the space forward a lot. Really, like, I mean, like the amount of like even JJ's music career really like took off as well thanks to his boxing because it just it, yeah, it just yeah. grew massively. Yeah, yeah. And, and people start to finally respect him on, on a mainstream level. So if Logan, like you know, even Logan fighting Floyd is good for all of us. Really, it just it gives like validity to um, YouTube. Yeah, unless he stops calling himself a YouTuber. Yeah, which is what JJ did well. So thank you, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> I respect that from JJ. He's, he's good. Lord and Savior KSI. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saving the UK scene once again. <laughs> <laughs> the global scene now as well. Um, but yeah, Flo uh, Floyd will, will win. Well, there's no winner, is there? Well, yeah, is it it there, there, there is still a winner. Like someone will win the exhibition. And like, like, Is that the case? Yeah, it's like a friendly. Someone will win a friendly match or they draw. Because that wasn't like, the case with Mike Tyson, was it? Well, they drew like if, but if someone had got a knockout somehow, like the other one had to retire. Right. They okay. So yeah. I, I always thought there was just no winner anyway. Well, well I don't think they. Because Floyd, Floyd's had a he had one against the was it Japanese guy? Yeah. yeah. And and he knocked him out in three rounds or something like that. So Floyd, What's but I don't think like again it doesn't count on his record. It's not right. Okay. It's not a okay. win, but like you've seen it, you saw what happened. Yeah, I had a bit of a Randy moment then. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. And yeah. then he'll call out Jake if he wins immediately. Floyd. Yeah. I th like I thought about this, and I, I was, don't think Jake would fight in there because it's an exhibition. So, well, I was I was Unless talking to my like live stream about it. I was talking on Switch, and I was like, "Do you think he would?" And I was like, "No, nah, I think it was just like a moment of anger." And then he'll go, "You know what? I just I can't be asked. What like why fight Jake? Money? Because that's that's why he's fighting Logan, isn't it? Money. Yeah, yeah but that's why half the TikTokers was said they were fighting, wasn't it? So yeah. Like, is it is yeah. it less interesting to see him fight Jake? Because, for example, JJ beat Logan, so surely JJ should be the one fighting Mayweather. It but sounds like an op, like a soap opera, doesn't it? They beat them, so they should fight them. And that well, no, but my, my thought house. is, if you watched JJ v Mayweather, yeah, it wouldn't be as interesting because they're way more similar in height and like yeah. size. Whereas the the only reason people are like Logan has a chance, if you think that, is because he's so much taller, so much heavier, such longer reach. Yeah. So if you saw JJ fight Mayweather, you wouldn't think uh, everyone would literally be like, "He's won a couple of fights. Why is he fighting?" But if he wins bec just because of that, 
you've, you've got the reach. Yeah, I'll take Mayweather. Yeah, I reckon you can take Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. easy. Yeah. And I can wear a t-shirt every day. Yeah, you can. <laughs> but I think, uh, I don't know, I think after Jake did what he did at the press conference as well, there is definitely like precedent there to be able to like yeah. promote a, fr- a fight. I heard, by the way, I think Jake did an interview on a boxing channel or something where he did, he did say to be fair, like when he took the hat, He's, he thought in his head, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> when all the security guys started chasing him, he was like, I think I, I think I fucked up. <laughs> but I, I, I enjoyed that. Like, I, I hate to say it. I've said it for a while on the podcast as well. Like, I, 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 find, I don't like Jake, Jake Paul. I don't think he's a very good guy, but I, I mean, he's doing the right thing. He knows how to promote. Yeah. He knows how to promote. He's, he's doing what Floyd did and, and McGregor did. You know, he's just being like a loud mouth, being crazy, you know, getting the, getting the headlines. But he's also being like the villain. So people pay. We were saying this last night. People pay to watch Jake Paul potentially lose. Like that's what yeah. Floyd did it 50 times, you know, everyone wants to see him lose, but I never, but he know. never does. He just can't, it feels like he can't switch it off. Cause I don't know if you guys watch the, the Logan Paul podcast. Yeah. Impulsive. Impulsive. Yeah. They, they did one after the fight. Mm-hmm. I sort of, I do dabble with them. Like when there's a good guest, I will yeah, yeah. happily watch. Cause he, he's a very good host. Yeah. Um, he's good. But that one, they had the Jake Paul on after the Ben Askren fight. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I've never seen something more awkward. Really? Like the most awkward podcast. And it was like, Jake Paul is like, is he still playing this character or is, is, is he the actually character? him? Like, cause podcasts are when you can be yourself. Right? Yeah. I think it's close. I think he's, right. I think he's close to that character he p- portrays, but yeah. not, not, not fully. I think, I think he is calculated. Yeah. But I don't think he's yeah. like the, the greatest guy. So I think, I think it's easy for him to do that. You know, um, I just wonder what Logan must think looking at him doing all this stuff, considering Logan knows like, oh, you know, I was on this, I was the same person. Yeah. And then obviously it all messed up. Yeah. And obviously it's worked now, but, Jake is him before. Yeah. Because he did, didn't, you know, Logan did that uh, whole thing to David Dobrik saying like, oh, if you carry on down this road, like bad shit's going to happen. Mm. And then that happened and Logan was like, oh, I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems the same with Jake. Like oh, eventually this is going to come back well, to bite Especially in America. It always seems that you grow and grow and grow and they're, they just wait and then they just pop that bubble yeah. at yeah. the right time. Yeah. But I mean... I don't know. I think Jake, Jake did kind of steal the show for Logan's trash conference. Yeah. That, that's everything. That's all everyone spoke about. But, um, but yeah, Jake and Tyron Woodley is mental, isn't it? That is, that's like an actual, mm. that's, that's, you know, I guess it's, st- it's still like an MMA fight. It's still not a boxer, what everyone wants, but it is a step up from, from Ben. So and I don't really uh, know much about him. All I know is he's lost his last four fights. Right. And he has a rib injury, I think. <laughs> of course so, he does. So yeah, he's, he's he, I think he's, he's a world champion. Yeah. Well, so, well, was so, so was Ben. So yeah. was Ben. Yeah, but I mean, I think when I think he's like a UFC before you. Obviously, UFC has been going on a long time, but I think when it started to get kind of like really popular, he was a is a, like a main fighter. Then it's a very prominent uh, fighter, and I guess in recent years, perhaps his name hasn't carried as much as it was back then. But he definitely is more certified than. He does look stacked. Yeah, as well, yeah. He's like yeah. a big guy. That be. It's just crazy to see where it's, it is crazy to see where it's going though. Like with the whole space of like fighting and yeah. and, and YouTubers and stuff. Cause it, it literally just did just start with like Theo and Joe. It's actually mad that you can trace it back to that. Like if, yeah, when you actually yeah. think about it, like you can trace it yeah. all the way back of course, to that it, one like, video and just, uh, even they didn't env- envision this, <laughs> but, but it, <laughs> it, it has, it's like a, a butterfly effect, right? That's, what, that's yeah. what they call it. It has happened, you know, because of this. So it's pretty mad, really. I love the meme of like, oh, if Theo had just won that, he could be fighting Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Well, Jaden, Jaden must think like, what's going on? Like, I beat, I beat Logan. Why is Logan fighting Floyd? No, I think he's, I think he sees what I said. Like, it, that fight doesn't look as entertaining to watch yeah. JJV Mayweather because yeah. it's not, you know, you're not watching two extremes. One is like ridiculously skilled, and one is just a giant. Yeah, and also these these things don't happen out of pure like like they don't be they don't get pulled out of the air. Yeah, like if, he, if JJ had like it wouldn't just be JJ fighting because he's won. He can't just go. Oh, I won, so yeah, I should yeah. fight. It's yeah. the teams behind. Exactly. It, so. Yeah, like obviously Logan would never have fought JJ if JJ didn't call him out. Yeah, you know, so yeah, you you'd have to kind of like plant seeds for these facts to happen. And obviously, if JJ's working on music and not really in well, that I swear, space, like then... YouTube, like from from an outsider perspective, someone who's not in yeah. the bubble it feels like stuff gets plucked out of the air. Like when yeah, something yeah, happens, yeah. you guys go, oh, we're just dropping this. It's like, you guys might have been planning it for months. But then it's like, oh, what? what? That's yeah. like, and not just the boxing thing, like when people drop music, like when the whole diss track thing happened, um, when JJ left to America. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Oh, that was, that was like, just plucked out of nowhere. Yeah. Like some stuff. Because JJ posted the video and we went, what's going on? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Right. Did you not go in the room, Mike? 
No, it's not. <laughs> People are always like, oh, that was fake, wasn't it? And I'm like, well, not really. Like, it, it, you know, there was, there was, it, it became like a comedic thing eventually. Yeah. But it wasn't like, it wasn't planned in a room. It wasn't, oh, let's, let's do this, you know, directly. Yeah. It's, it's just like a natural thing that happened. I think that's why it took off so much more than others. Yeah. Because it was just, it was legit. Mm-hmm. It just went, all right. No, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so I guess that's, that's kind of like fighting. What, what else has been going on? Champions League. Did you guys watch that? I did. Champions League final. I didn't watch the Champions League final. Wow. Actually, I think wow. wow. Yeah. Did you watch the Europa hold League? Hold on, final? hold on, hold on. Yeah. Are you... I didn't even watch the Europa League. Wow. Final. Hold on. I was away. I was on holiday. I was... But you're a Leeds fan. Yes. And I'm right in saying you're a United fan. Yeah. And you didn't watch the final. I, do, I mean, it's it's not a major competition anyway. But wow. so it's like when when City, the best thing City have done is making the League Cup a major trophy. Like when they were like, oh, we won four major trophies this year. It's like, no, Charity Shield and League Cup. You won two. You won the double. But um, sorry, John, for talking about football. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I was I was away for both of those finals. So I Fair didn't enough. watch them, but I wasn't upset because... United lost. We well, lost, anyway. yeah. <laughs> have you watched? Ba- have you watched back any of I the watched, Europa? Actually, I did get home in time, and I watched the penalties, and only the penalties. That was the interesting penalties you got. Well, the, well, the penalties were amazing. They were, yeah. Every was, every like, I, I, yeah, I, I, not all of them. I, of them. I thought most of them were pretty most good. Them, yeah, but every was, every time United player went up to take a penalty, I was like, he's gonna miss. Yeah, every single time. You know, like especially when he got to Lindelof, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. But he buried it, I think. And then obviously De Gea um, can't kick a ball. Yeah, I saw a stat though that he hasn't saved any of the last forty. Never saves penalty. Ever None in the last penalty. forty. How great have, is it? You if would you're... have thought you'd sub him off, like if you know he's that bad. But did you see they they found there was a picture of his cheat sheet or whatever? Right. It is, yeah. Where you write down who's going to go where, and he just ignored it. Apparently, I don't know if that's like one of those internet rumors. Maybe. But like apparently he had it like for this guy. Go left. Go left for this guy, and it was like if he had done that, he would have saved like six penalties or something. Well, damn. Yeah, I don't want to talk about football too much, but then we had we had Chelsea as well. To be, and to be fair, they played well. Like they, yeah. they did just, Chelsea deserved it. Yeah, so so much. Going into it, I was like, either City are going to destroy them like four five nil or something like that, or maybe not not necessarily three one or whatever. But I thought if Chelsea win, they would have done what they did before with Di Matteo and kind of like just look it. Yeah, but they didn't. They deserved the like Kante yeah. was incredible. Uh, <laughs> like, watching that game, I was uh, like, Werner was the only player I'd say that messed up. Because he missed like three chances. Oh, yeah. yeah, I see on TikTok everyone saying that he uh, he did well to he make that run. The goal, yeah. She did do that as well. You know, you have to give credit there. Yeah, no, for sure. But it doesn't mean that he played amazing. No. Like, he still missed multiple chances. Could have been yeah. 3-0. Yeah. For sure. He could have, yeah. He might not have had to make that run because they could have already won it by that point. <laughs> it is weird how many like like world-class strikers have gone to Chelsea and then just flopped. Mm. It's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Like... It must be some like, sort of mental thing. But he is a good player. That's the worst part about it. Well, he does every single thing well yeah until he has to shoot well, it's like but, Sterling used to be as well that's a striker a striker, yeah. his runs are amazing yeah his like positioning. his positioning his first touch everything then he just shoots yeah and it just for some reason he just and, can't kick the ball and I think that's why we do see him miss so many chances because he creates so many chances at the same oh, time yeah, for like, sure. like Sterling back in the day used to be like that as well he used to be so frustrating because he creates so many chances and always missed them he's, done, he's better now but um, yeah hopefully hopefully, like v- v- Werner just improves a little bit because he, he looks good to watch but you just yeah. get nervous as soon as yeah as soon as the floodgates open I think it'll be yeah hopefully it's it like amazing. Torres as well Torres just, just fell apart when he went to Chelsea yeah. that, was, that was a weird one but Kante I love that he's man he's unbelievable yeah. I love that man, man in football you oh. can tell as well. Like at first, I was kind of like, "Oh, he must just be like a on, on camera. He must just seem like a like a shy guy." But he de- he is. You yeah. definitely can tell he is that guy. He just wants to get on with it, <laughs> play football. <laughs> let me have a good life. Yeah, it's weird yeah. how many people I know as well that have run into him. Really? Yeah, like um, someone I know li- that lives somewhere. Apparently, he lives in the same like apartment complex kind of thing, and they would like yeah, he just literally goes on like jogs or whatever, <laughs> and everyone just smiling him, and he's just smiling the entire time. Get him on the podcast. I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. You probably wouldn't say much. Probably, you know. Just smile. Just smile. How are you? How are you? I'm great. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sounds like I've never, yeah, it's never actually heard an interview. <laughs> he sounds like Jar Jar He's in a TikTok where uh, he says thank you and they change it to fuck you. So, so uh, one of the one of the um, the interviewers asks him like, oh, Kante, you've done a fantastic job, you know, well played. And he goes, thank you. But it sounds like fuck you. And someone <laughs> just puts a title t- t- saying fuck you. And everyone's like, he's the, he's the coldest guy ever. And he's like, oh, yeah, great. Well played. He's like, fuck you. Um, I really want, I mean, obviously I want England to win the Euros. But I want France to win the Euros if we don't. Because, because of him. him. Yeah. Then he's won everything, right? He's won but everything. he's already won the World Cup. 
Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, it's the Euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. the Euros. It's the only oh, yeah. thing he hasn't won. Yeah. He's won everything. You guys going? Yes. Got tickets? Yes. I'm not. Yeah. But I also want him to win the Ballon d'Or. He should. But Just because he's a nice guy. Then, <laughs> then he's, if he wins that and the Euros, he's won everything. He won't, though. Rare for a defensive midfielder. Yeah. But I don't know who would this year. Modric got it once, didn't he? That was, that was, like, that was a bit of like a weird one. Uh, yeah. shout. I, I would love for him too, by the way, but I don't. I just don't think he will. I, don't, I can't see. Lewandowski shouldn't win it because of his TikToks. <laughs> he's dancing. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, They're like no. dad TikTok. And and Kante does own TikTok as well. Yeah. What does he do on TikTok? Oh no, sorry, no, he no, sorry, do sorry. <laughs> Oh, I thought he, uh, he owns. No, TikTok. no, no. He's, he's, he's <laughs> just on it everywhere, everywhere. Well, at least for me, everywhere yeah. I go is just Kante now. Same. And it's always like in places where you don't expect it. It's like, who's that Pokemon? It's <laughs> and it's Pikachu. Like it's obviously Pikachu, and he goes, it's. Angolo Kante <laughs> yeah. and stuff like where someone take a screenshot and be like, oh, who's that in the, who's that in the corner? And someone just zooms in and it's just Kante. <laughs> yeah, just Kante's face and stuff like that. Oh, it's, yeah, I love that man. Yeah, it's yeah, the best. All right, we pause this episode to tell you about our sponsor, Skillshare. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. The online learning community is offering our listeners a free trial of premium membership. Woo. Witness your own transformation as you turn small steps into giant leaps with Skillshare's online classes. There are so many fascinating classes on Skillshare on topics including illustration design, you can do stuff like thumbnails as well, YouTube editing, music as well if you're into production uh, like I am, or even even writing as well, like you know, you wanna write lyrics and stuff, there's everything for you. I recently took a Skillshare course. Um, I'm starting, I'm working on a project right now that in, in, includes some SEO, like uh, search engine optimization. And, and I took this course from Rand Fishkin, and the reason I chose him is because his name's Rand. Yeah, I could tell. I Bro, figured that out. It's, it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> um, it's really good. So I, I recommend you guys go on then. Whatever you want, there'll be a course for it. So just like type something that you're interested in and bam, you can learn about it. Yeah, so with Skillshare practice makes progress. Advancing toward a goal is achievable with short lessons, hands-on projects, and classes designed for real life. Do something today you couldn't do yesterday. Skillshare helps you move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. Their short classes are a perfect fit for your busy routine. You'll create real projects and get the support of fellow creatives so you can accomplish real growth. Explore your creativity at skillshare.com slash what's good where our listeners get a free trial of premium membership. That's two weeks for free at skillshare.com slash what's good. Yeah, so go to skillshare.com slash what's good to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Sorry, and and do it, guys, because it's like you can learn stuff at school or uni or college or whatever. But like this is like directly something that you can actually learn and be will, interested in. Yeah, and, and and it won't be like curriculum. It'll be like this is purely information you need to know. Yeah. So yeah, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring. Check them out in the description and back to the podcast. Anything else going on in the world? Uh, what else has happened? Uh, the side men filmed with um Arsenal the Arsenal women's football team. Yeah, how mm-hmm. was that? It was good, but uh, I was gutted that I missed. A lot, of, a lot of shots. Was it yeah. shots or like penalties? And I missed two penalties out of three. Like I saw a comment where someone said you were sensational. Well, in the first challenge, it was first team to score five. Mm. And JJ Scuffs one scores. Then he scored one more. Then I scored three. Mm. No one else scored. <laughs> they scored two, I think, the other team. Um, but then when we did penalties, we were all awful. Right. So everyone was kind of like, yeah, they were all shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't, and then the free kicks as well. I think Ethan, Josh, and Harry scored. Mm-mm. So that was a fun day, though. Like that was actually one of the best chemistries we've had with a football team or football player. Because normally football players are just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, just I'm you know, yeah. I'm going to kick the ball here. in the net and then I'm gone. Yeah. Whereas that one was actually they were really they engaged. Involved. They were like comedic themselves. As yeah. Well. Yeah. So that one, yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Mm. Nice. Um, not much else has really the happened. The experiences you get so and yeah, it's crazy. You, you you do have to start like just being like, oh yeah, you know, an average day. But yeah. it is pretty crazy what you Almost guys do. Coming numb to it now on our like family WhatsApp, and you're like, oh yeah, played with Arsenal ladies or something. It's like, I mean, I've kicked it's, it's a cool, football in like, Brian's face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, that Come was on. Quite... <laughs> and now he's a Champions League loser. Well, yeah, no, it's just a delayed socket fracture. It wasn't uh, That's what it was, in the yeah. Champions League, was it? It was, no, it was, it was yeah. yeah, you did that, bro. You weakened it. I'm just saying, ever since that ball hit him in the face, he's turned into like one of the best players in the world. <laughs> <laughs> he was already like amazing, but he turned into the best player. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. You know, I've always compared it to Space Jam. You know, when the monsters touch, uh, they yeah. they get the professionals to touch the ball. They take the power. So and then he the monsters took your touch power. It. Yeah. When I kick the ball, 
all my footballing <laughs> skill went into the ball and then it hit him. How long ago was this? Four years. Four or five. That yeah. would explain it, yeah. Yeah, and that's why I miss penalties now because exactly. I don't have the skill anymore. No, no, yeah, you, you give it to him. It all adds up. The new um, Space Jam is coming out soon, isn't it? Looks yeah. With the, rock, with the rum. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. It's one of those things the where it's, it's a so risk. Good. It's a risk, but I think it'll make a ton of money though. Yeah. Like Lion King. Like you just got to be open still. minded. I haven't seen Do the not, new Lion King. Really? The new one, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, get Disney Plus. I know I, I, that's not an ad. I, I, I look at the camera like, well, but it's, it's not. Um, but it is, it is really good. I, I, I it? love it. Yeah. I got scared because it was like, hey, this could literally ruin Lion King. Oh, mm. nah. Because I think cause it is so different. Like you can yeah. still enjoy the other one as much, you know. Um, I was watching a, my, my, I spent the weekend with my um, my, my, my brother and his, and his kids and they were watching like some sort of like Disney spinoff animated show of Lion King. So it's Simba is like the, the dad now. He's old now. And he's got a, a, a new baby called Kion. He actually is quite sure good. Are you sure it just wasn't Lion King 2? No, no, no. Like it's, just, it's, it's, a... it's like a 20 minute show. It's a series. I'm mad. It's actually really, I was actually good. I was like watching it like, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like Kion. Like, it's, like, it's like the next generation of Lion King. I bet having kids when they hit that certain age where you can watch the shows with them that are actually good. Yeah, yeah. actually sick. That's like, I, I, yeah. I, we, we're watching um, the, um, a series of Unfortunate Events. As oh, well, because awesome. Laura and I started watching that a while ago when it first came out, and we got like, three episodes in and then stopped. Because yeah. it, it is, it is like you know, it is kind of like for children, but also yeah. adults at the same time. But now I was watching it again. I was like, because you can, yeah, you can watch slaps. it guilt free. Yeah, if you're like, oh, let's put on Little Mermaid today. It's a bit like, yeah, probably shouldn't. Do little as well. You know, Robert Downey Jr. did, did do little. Mm. Uh, we watched that as well, and I was like, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it, it was bad. It was bad. But you know, you know the films that are bad, but yeah, you still, like, you still enjoy them. Like, yeah. like, like uh, what's, what's it, like a. What do, you, what do you call it? Guilty pleasure. Yeah. It was it was one of those where I was like, this does suck. But oh, also, did you, did you watch the Friends reunion? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What did you think? Have you watched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good one to bring up. Yeah. Um, thanks. <laughs> I prepared. I really it's like liked done it. Hundred and five yeah. times. I actually, it, it, I actually really liked. I went it. into it thinking this is going to be cringe, and it was. It was very cringe at times, but it was I also good at the same it time. Was. I didn't actually. Bit well, when I saw James Corden, uh, James Corden oh, to me, I was so nervous yeah. when he was hosting. Yeah, well, he—I was uh, the biggest fan of James Corden. Mm. I loved him in, in Gavin and Stacey. I thought he was super talented, and he is super, ta- super talented, very talented. But since he's gone over to America, and I understand he has had to change a little bit. He's had to change his accent to be, make himself more presentable. Like yeah. he has done a good job to make himself a TV, a late night TV host. But he's just annoying now. I can't, it just kind of annoys me. But yeah. anyway, but you enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's quite. It's quite like. It's emotional, so yeah. Bits, wasn't it? There's some bits. I think for me, the hard part is that, like, I, you know, they're just doing it to get money. You, you know, they, they wouldn't have done this if they didn't get. Like, they didn't I, I, need the money. No, I but, would, I but I, I did. Hear, I heard it was like something like three million each for that reunion or something, something like that. Wow. Because so they make they made a million per Mad. episode towards the end of Friends. Um, they make twenty million a year each, I think, on like syn- uh, syn- syndication. Is it syndication? Yeah, where, like it being on Netflix and every country yeah. in the world. Um, so yeah, they don't need the money, but also at the same time, if someone's like, do you want to meet your old friends and you know, for this three million? Yeah. I don't know if it is yeah, three million, but it would have been a lot of money. Yeah. Um, they're probably like, yeah, but it was, it looked, it, they didn't seem like they were all like friends still. It, it, it felt like, a, it well, felt like a front a little bit. Apparently. Cause I was like Matthew Perry. Matthew He's had a lot of struggles. Yeah. Cause he was like leaning forward in it, but apparently cause he was all right when they were in the, on the set, wasn't he? He was talking yeah, and quite yeah. funny, but he didn't talk on the couch. And apparently he had had some sort of, and again, this is internet rumors, but like oh, dental, dental worried, surgery, he had dental surgery. Or yeah. Major surgery the day and before. That's why he was like sitting there like that a lot of the time. Like, but I think he yeah. has struggled a lot with like, you know, al- alcohol, drugs, etc. He was doing yeah. drugs during the oh, wow. se- series. Oh, was he? Yeah. He was like, there was a whole season. He doesn't remember. He said, yeah. oh, wow. Cause he was yeah. literally just off his face. Yeah. yeah and they, you, they don't watch like, they were all like, oh no, some of them were like David Schwimmer was like, I've watched every episode. Matt LeBlanc yeah. puts it on in his kitchen. But like it was, it was, um, or Schwimmer said, uh, sorry, and uh, Phoebe were like, yeah, I haven't watched anything past season four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but it's the same. Uh, like, how can you not watch? I, like, I can't relate a little bit there. I don't, I, I yeah, can't you don't watch, watch Simon, right? I can't watch any videos I'm in. Yeah, that, that's, really, what, that's what it is. You never watch back, like, a, well, I guess they're an hour long, so it's a bit long, but like, I don't watch anything. Not even like when you know it's a banger, you're like, I actually kind of want to see that is funny. Like, like the, the, no. the, the, it's a pot in the bin. What? That scene, the Simon video. Oh, the he, cheese the pot. Cheese pot. Oh no! Like you haven't watched watch that. that back, and because so, so, I'm in it. Yeah, if if yeah, you have to watch it 
well, my if, from, if I have to watch a video, I watch it like to make sure it's okay and there's no mistakes. I watch through it. Yeah. But um, if you don't need to do that, then I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Post, post it and move on. You know. Um, I just can't. I hate it. Well, I have to watch this back. But I would watch. <laughs> I would watch Simon. I think. Well, I think I think I would watch Simon if I was in it, just to see like the other guys, but not not myself. Yeah. Like, did you, know you watch I mean? the Chris? Because you were Santa, right? Did yeah. You watch that bit back? No. <laughs> I guess that baffles me. No. Yeah. Maybe it's just me being a bit like either. I don't know if it's insecure or vain but i would watch it back yeah yeah it's one of the two yeah, I'm not i guess sure maybe to one. learn to how <laughs> yeah. to how to improve but um i think well wasn't it um matt leblanc he actually said it quite well really he said that you know he, he can't watch himself because he knows he's acting yeah he said that right he was like he's you know i know i'm fake because so i, I know why yeah. yeah yeah but um now it was good i think out of all of them i feel like matt leblanc or jo joey they just seem like the most normal out, out of them all now yeah you know mm. no, no like cosmetic surgery or you know he just seems like it's a bit bigger now which is actually you know it's just which is good it's really down, lockdown man yeah but he's just enjoying himself isn't it you can yeah. tell like, he, he looked like he was having the most fun there as well he was just firing jokes across he was just relaxed yeah. you know he was smiling he's the yeah. only one out of the guys that still did a lot of stuff right like he went no, on, david he Schwimmer did, did a lot of stuff did he, he did um, jennifer aniston did, did a lot of david stuff david was the giraffe in okay, he did voice acting and, but he and was no he, no, he did, did uh, oj oh yeah um, he was the lawyer in the OJ Simpson. He, he was he was, he was Kardashian, wasn't he? He was the Kardashian oh, lawyer. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because so Matt does, obviously did does directing. Matt did straight away did Joey. He yeah. did Joey. And then, then he did Top Gear. Episodes. No, before episode. So episodes, episodes are so, yeah. good. Episodes. so good. It's so good. And then, and then, then Top, Top Gear. Yeah, he's, Top he's done one the last few years, which has been cancelled now, where he was like a dad in a family like that sort of sitcom. I yeah, think they all have. The only people I haven't seen ever is actually Matthew Perry. Chandler and then Monica, Courtney Cox. 17 again was like the last time I saw him. Oh no, he did Sunset on 60. I haven't seen that. Something like that. I've forgotten what it was called. But yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe's been in quite a few things. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah, she's like, I've seen her in, in, she was like a headmaster in one or a teacher. Yeah. What film was that? Oh. Don't know. I don't know, but it was very, she was really funny in it. I want to say it's Drill Bit Taylor. I don't, I don't seen that film. Yeah, it might be. It might be that. <laughs> she's like the head teacher. But yeah, um, I've seen quite a few of them. Obviously, Jennifer Aniston's been in everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, she's, she's been killing it. It did but, just um, make me realize how well it was cast, though. Yeah, because oh, literally, like when the, there's like a bug lands on Phoebe and she's she starts freaking out as it's Lisa, Phoebe, yeah. but it's Phoebe. Yeah. But also, when they show the tapes and like Phoebe is basically Phoebe as a waitress in her last show. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, that is literally it. Or um, yeah, is it Matthew Perry in his space one, which mm -hmm. looked weird. But yeah, like, I think yeah, but the, the Rachel one. Which they stole like, her. Yeah. This isn't this isn't a rare steak. And she's like, how often do we serve steak? <laughs> Not very often. Well, that's a rare steak. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is this is friends. Yeah. This is literally this is still Rachel. Well, I enjoyed on the reunion the fact that they actually did bring it. They, they focused a lot of it on the creators of it. Yeah, and they were yeah. They, they obviously. That, I, know, I know that the main cast are why Friends is so good, and it was cast well. But I also think it was like molded to them. And I think that's what the writers did well, right? They they probably like identified, wow, we've got a great group of people here. Let's like play to that. Yeah. Um, but again, like you know, you, you say it was cast well. Someone has to do that, right? Someone has to be in charge of that. Oh yeah. And they smashed that, right? I think, and and, and, and listen to them talk about how they reacted to certain episodes or how they came up with the idea. They they yeah. It's how like, they took people from certain shows and stuff. Like yeah. some of them were already on shows and they couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was really really the them. most frustrating thing. Like I guess you guys might get it in the YouTube world where it's like you're booked in to film with someone and then a better filming potential comes along and you're like, got to do that oh, one. I, yeah, do yeah. that. I can't, can't be there for that. Mm. Must be the most. Found the, the random cameos from people kind of weird. Mm, that, the hand, the hand guy. That was good though. No, 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 no. The <laughs> yeah. celebrity ones. The ones oh, like, like Justin Viva. Where like, Bieber being in it. That was weird. Doing Beckham the catwalk. The Beckham one, yeah. the BTS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beckham like, was weird. Yeah. Those ones I was kind of like, okay, it's a nice touch. Don't get it. Yeah. No, it's just Be <laughs> Beckham's like, I like friends. Yeah, he was like, I, I, I watch friends in my hotel. It. Yeah, like, I remember putting cool, it on mate. and it would make me smile and laugh and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's coming from, a, you're a massive David Beckham fan. Uh, yeah, right? like, I'll, you know, if you see this, I'd, I love you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It didn't, oh yeah, he wouldn't turn it down, would he? I just didn't. It didn't seem. I thought, I thought you meant like they're coming on it. Like, oh no 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 no! no. He, he would definitely would definitely turn that down. Yeah. <laughs> but if you if you want to, yeah, feel free, feel free. But yeah. I tell you, there we'll was one. We'll kick him out. Yeah. <laughs> there was one bit that did make me a little bit, bit teary eyed, was when they went around the the world. Oh yeah. And it was yeah. all the people being like oh, yeah. that helped me through this time. Yeah yeah. And it reminded me of when we went Dubai, and I was your cameraman for the time. Greatest job ever. 
like <laughs> cameraman in Dubai, like, what do you need filming? Oh, I don't really Tell John actually. that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell John Smile that. More, He's John. always like, you know what? Working for you sucks. <laughs> yeah. John really is a horrible phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, I can't even say that. It's a, it's a joke, everyone. <laughs> Not really. But yeah, sorry. The guy, um, the guy, when we were out there and you were doing a meet and greet of like 100, 200 people, mm. whatever, and the amount of huh. people that, 200. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> many people it was. It felt like a long time. But, um, and I was filming and I started filming and you were like, you kind of, you've filmed enough, Nick, after like 20 minutes. So I just put the camera down. So I put the camera and there were a lot of the people would then come over when yeah, they're waiting yeah. for their turn and they'd have a bit of a chat and they would all say similar things. So it just reminded me of that and teared me up a little. Mm-hmm. But I bet you guys, again, that's something you must, do, do you know that effect? When you're in it, I guess like, when you do like see meet and greets. I mean, I've I've never, I mean, I've never really done like a meeting. I've been at your meet and greets before, and I've, I don't want to say I've met people out and about, mm. but yeah, I think you do see the impact when you're at shows as well. People are like, oh, you really help music, really helped me through things. But um, does does it ever like play on your mind though? Like when you're creating music, you're like, oh, this I'm doing this because like, or is it just nah? Because I think then it would be inauthentic. Like, if you know what I mean, I think if if I if I was doing it for that reason. Then it would seem like I'm, that's what I'm, I'm craving, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, for you, little Timmy. Yeah, yeah. If, if someone can like, if, if my music, my music or my work, or whatever, can help someone through something, that, that's amazing. But I wouldn't. Yeah. No, nah, it's a weird one. I would do it for them, but like, I, I think you have to do what you want to do. Yeah. And you have to write your experiences or what, in, in music specifically, and then if that. Yeah, someone can't take their experience, and you're like, I need, yeah, I need to make a song for that. Yeah. Like, instantly. Whereas you just make what you do and hope it helps in that way. Yeah, because yeah. people always are, people are all different as well, aren't they? That they might they might take a certain aspect differently than someone else. So they might be inspired by this, whereas someone might be inspired by that. And if you try and like you know reach out to one specific category of of, of a person, yeah, you then you could miss. You know, so I think it's nice that people find inspiration in their own way. Like friends as well. Like people had people were saying they found inspiration in the, in, the, in like pivots. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, they didn't write that thinking, oh, that's going to get, that's, that's, you know, the, people are going to relate to that moment, but they're not going to necess- necessarily be like, oh, that inspired me. But Almost became didn't. illegal to n- lift a couch yeah. and not yeah. say pivot, didn't they? You gotta... I found it mad seeing it on a script as well. Yeah, Literally yeah pivot, like, pivot. they lift the sofa, Ross, pivot, pivot, pivot. <laughs> yeah. They drop the sofa. I'm oh, like, no, shut up. that yeah. sounds like the driest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then you watch it. That's why they're so good. Yeah. Like, yeah, and I know there's probably a lot of people listening or watching that really dislike Friends and think it's cringe. And I, I do see why it couldn't be I've, like that. I've but... never met someone that dislikes Friends. I've only met people that haven't watched it. I had a conversation with someone yesterday. Do you dislike who Friends? Who disliked Friends. Okay, okay. Maybe. I literally... No. I'll tell you after. Why, would it ruin their career? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those things where, because it, it, it's so big, and it's so like, it's so popular, people like to dislike it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if you don't like it, that is fine as well. And I'm not, not, not going to hate someone for hating it. But, yeah. um, you know, it, I, I enjoy it, really. But they said at the end as well, didn't they? They were like, oh, we won't do this again in 15 years. I was like, no, <laughs> come back. Like, yeah. Do every year. I think one thing I liked about it as well is the fact that they actually, because m- most people dislike it because of the, la- the laugh track. They think, oh, it's, you know, it's cringe. Mm. But I actually enjoyed that when they actually opened up a little bit. They said how yeah. how that helped them write and how, you know, they would test jokes. And if the audience didn't yeah. laugh, they would rewrite it. So actually, I guess... It's not only just, it's not a laugh track, you know, it is a live audience and yeah. they're feeding off that as well. That's actually crazy when you think rewriting a joke on the day after everything, like right, to try and mm-hmm. make it land. But I don't, I don't, the thing I've never understood is they don't do one take of everything normally. No. Like even if they do it perfectly, they'll go like, let's get one for safety. Yeah. yeah. If they did it again Surely and the, laugh. the joke. Surely the laugh though isn't. Oh, but you use the first laugh. I know, but then now I'm like, okay, well now now you have added in a fake laugh. Yeah, so it definitely, <laughs> definitely is fake, and also also they'll have like signs as well. So you know, if they re-record it, so if 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 someone didn't laugh at a joke and they went to reshoot it and rewrite it, they would then hold up a sign that was like, laugh, laugh, laugh now. Yeah. So, it, it, <laughs> so it, someone yeah. like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, it's still fake as well, but like you know, there's a, there's a bit of authenticity there. Didn't they say like people would go and just try having really weird laughs? Just so they, when they watch it back, they're like, that's, that's oh, me. Wow. That's me. <laughs> I'll do that. The thing is, the laugh oh, yeah, track 100%. thing, <laughs> the laugh track thing sits with me way more with Big Bang Theory. Oh, yeah. It's the effect you on that. Yeah. Yeah. You, because oh. the Friends ones, there are some times where I'm like, you know what, that actually wasn't that funny, but because people are laughing, I find it funny. Mm. Whereas Big Bang Theory, when you clock that they sometimes just say something that sounds smart and then people laugh. The next time you watch it, you, you sit there and they go, Oh no, that that couldn't be him because of the shape of the earth. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, no, nothing was funny. Even Wait, even with happened? friends, when you notice it's worse, 
Like yeah. so, with Big Bang Theory, I watched it. I, I was addicted to it. I remember when I was younger, I watched like all all the seasons on my laptop, like every day, you know, in summer holidays or something like that. And then now I look back, and now I know that people make fun of it because of the laugh track. I can't not listen to it. And same with Friends. I didn't notice it was there. Big Bang Theory. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Oh, you finished yeah. it though, right? Yeah, but there you go. I might watch it back because. Well, then you can see. See if it's ruined. Just make sure you laugh when they laugh, and then you won't even notice <laughs> out loud on your own. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try and mask the laugh track with their own laugh track. Should we put laugh tracks in this? <laughs> <laughs> well, Joel, Joel's on it now. <laughs> That's the thing, I still like I still like Big Bang Theory a lot. It's still very good. Yeah, yeah. But there are some times where nothing happens and there's a laugh track. Yeah. What did they say? They they said that friends that the one line where they would they would sell the show is that these these are the the, the friends in your twenties are your family until yeah. you until actually have your own yeah. family. Yeah. yeah. And you know, since you guys are actually family, why don't we talk about a few stories from your childhood? Okay. Was that a sick segue? That was uh, actually a pretty sick segue. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that was, it was I, all right. I thought you were going to be like, yeah. well done. Nah. It was okay. I, I thought right. that was good. Thank you. If I had another phone call with that friend, Ben, we would uh, we'd both agree that was a good segue. Shout out, Ben. Does Ben listen re- religiously? Yeah, every single time. Different Ben to the Ben you're thinking about. Oh. Yeah. I don't know who Ben is then. Mm. Sounds like a loser. You stink Ben. <laughs> well, okay. Other so, Ben is cool. <laughs> I know Ben. Um, <laughs> you guys don't know him. I know a few Bens. Um, so let's let's find more out, out about Nick. Nick Minter. Okay. So you are. There are three of you. So not all, there are, there's not yeah. three of you, but there are three Minter. No, that's where he's going. Well, in the there's, family. There's, there's a three more than. There's also my mom and dad. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the kids. Yes. Yeah. There's there's yourself. Yes. Youngest, then there's Nick. Middle. And then there's. I know his name, but am I allowed to say his name? If you can remember it. Johnny. Yeah. yeah. But he, he's. <laughs> I got not, nervous then. He doesn't like being on camera. Yeah, that's why I don't want to say so, his name. Yeah. I don't know if I was like well, doxing him. When you say his name, it doesn't, he doesn't appear. <laughs> oh my God, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. the oldest. He's yeah. the oldest. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's two years in between each one, pretty much. Two yeah. And a half years. Yeah. Which I was very surprised at. Bam, Not going to lie. Bam. Like when I, when I met you, I thought, no, like, no offense, I thought you were a lot older than Simon. It's the beard. Yeah. I didn't, no, I didn't think you were older than you were. You thought I was younger. I just thought the gap was bigger. How does that make sense if you knew how old I was and you thought he wasn't older? No, I can't, I can't get it with the maturity. That doesn't make but sense. I want to hear Randall's explanation. No, so, so, so I thought that you were way older than you. You seem way older than you. So you knew how old I was. <laughs> yeah. And you knew who old, how old he was. Well, I didn't at first. That's what I'm saying. At first, I assumed you were much older than you are, but not because of you, because of you, if that makes sense. Does that make, does that make any sense? So basically, you think I'm immature? Yes. That's the wrong answer. You haven't to say that. <laughs> but, no, no, no. But no, you're not immature. It's because because we do YouTube, we always we feel younger than we are, aren't we? Don't we? Yeah. we it's true. Like when we're all to, we spoke about this last night. Like I said, I said to you then. Like when we're all together, we'll, we'll always be young. But then put like a 18 year old next to us, or like a four year old on an iPad, and we're like flipping it. We're boomers. Just you said that. No one agreed with you. True. Yeah. That. True. That is. Like, I, I said this to everyone. And everyone was like, anyway. Because so, um, <laughs> he did the standard old thing of like, oh. The four-year-old is on the iPad now. Like, oh, just like, so, I don't know <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. going on. I was like, You're I, was, I was going on a, on a tangent, but yeah. So it, it, you don't seem old. You don't. You don't look old. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. What? Okay. It's just I don't, I don't know. Does anyone understand me? Do you understand me? Really, Fuck. <laughs> like, all I've gathered from the last seven minutes is imagine you don't it. think he looks that old. Imagine doing you don't the best segue of the entire podcast history. <laughs> <laughs> you look quite young. You look young for your age. Oh, thanks, man. And you look young for your age, but younger thanks. in comparison. Yes, yes. So, what, how? Should we just say how old are you? Yeah, I'm 31. Right. You're turning. My I'm 28. Say, you're turning 28. Aren't no, you? I am 28. You're yeah, no, I'm turning 20. I'm 20. I'm turning 28. Are you 29? I'm turning 28. You? I'm turning no, 28. I thought you were 93. Wait, so where's it? 92. Where's the same 92, age right so now? So Johnny's the three year yeah. difference one. Where's the same age right now? Damn. Are you 27? No, I'm 28. We're not, we're not the same age right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never be the same age. But yeah, so he's got 28, Sad. 31, and I think Johnny must be 33 or something. I think it's also because in my family, I've got, I've got three <laughs> brothers as well, and they're like, or like eight, eight, nine years older than me. So I always assume that everyone is like that. <laughs> you know? Um, right. It so was we, pretty cool having like, all roughly similar ages to be fair growing up especially like being similar height because it meant so johnny was like the big yeah. he was really into his games like he's really good at gaming very knowledgeable on the subject yeah, yeah. all of that um 
Whereas, and I used to love playing the games as well, but Johnny would also like playing football with me and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because that, I guess you got kind of both. We all got, we all got the best yeah, of everything because yeah. it was, same here, really. want to play like games, Pokemon. Play him, yeah. want to play thingy, play with him, want to, so my, my oldest brother like loves Pokemon, and then my other brother more like I guess at the time football and football and stuff. So yeah, I can relate with that. I also realize what it is as well. You know, I think you are definitely a more of a boomer than he is. Like you are, you are a boomer. I think. Whoa. Yeah, no offense. I watched the YouTube. I uh, <laughs> I've dabbled on TikTok. But yeah, I think it's just because we we're in YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 you know, you're not you're not. No, a boomer that is at all. completely a fair comment. I <laughs> social media. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I might even still have Facebook. I don't know. I reckon yeah. this podcast gets you involved, doesn't it? I guess it keeps you involved with like yeah. the, the YouTube stuff. No, I like that. It's, it is quite fun. That I met up with one of my schoolmates the other day, mm-hmm. uh, Shell, and he Good guy. he was full on boomer, and but he was having like a midlife crisis because he was there <laughs> like he was like I've realised we're not old. And I was like, <laughs> yes, we are. He was like, no, 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 we're actually really young still. Like, I think had about this it. Exact same thing the other day. And I, well, I was like, we are getting old. And then the conversation kind of went on after 20 minutes of him panicking that he's going to die in the next three years because <laughs> he's old. Um, and he was, he goes, so this Jake Logan Paul fight thing against Mayweather, is it not a disgrace to boxing? <laughs> oh. And I was like, you're old. You're really old right now. You're <laughs> yeah. so old. Yeah. And then, yeah, he, I don't know. It was like, yeah, it was a long talk, but yeah. it I'm, made me realise that. the age that, where it's the, so what do they do mm. when they talk about like, so when you inevitably come up in a conversation with friends. So what does he, do? what does he do? Does he mm-hmm. play like games and stuff? How does that work? It's still that sort of. I, I find it funny when people who find out what I guess YouTube is and what I guess creators do, they always think they're incredible at games. Yeah. So like someone will be like, oh, you do YouTube, right? Are you really good at gaming? I'm like, well, no, I'm awful. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, even, I don't really even play games. You should it. see my animal farm in Ireland. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm across the I'm, I'm, I'm a go at Yeah. But, um, <laughs> You know, but everyone always hears like YouTuber and think, wow, you're incredible. Well, it's also because of what, whenever someone asks me like what I, what I do on YouTube. Yeah. Because of my main channel, I don't, like what, what, what do, do you I do? say? Yeah. Because I never know what to say when people are like, what does he do? I go, vlog, game. Yeah. I say like football and skits but, and stuff, but yeah. ultimately I post more videos of gaming. So I say, oh, I just, I just play games. But then I think, oh, now they think I'm a gamer. And then the thing comes of like, oh, so you could beat everyone at like <laughs> Fortnite. And I'm like, no, <laughs> don't, I don't even know how to build a wall anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you say streaming as well. Like if someone asks you what you do, you'd probably say YouTube more than streaming, right? Yeah. So I feel like streaming goes into some, they immediately think you're some sort of like gamer, weeb, you know, like in, instantly <laughs> yeah. when you get into that. Whereas like YouTube, I think people are, I think YouTube is more mainstream than, than streaming is, yeah. you know, currently. It might, yeah. might change as we go on. But, um, but in reality, streaming is, is the more, I guess, trendier, I would say. Is it is it the cooler thing to to be a, a streamer? I think most people... Are would you a streamer? Is because is it like... So Twitch doesn't have its own entity. It is like... If you're on Twitch, you're a streamer. You're not like a... I don't know. You would still say I'm a Twitch streamer. Yeah. Twitch streamer. Yeah, yeah, you would say I'm a Twitch streamer. Obviously, I think YouTube still is a bigger name than Twitch is, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's still it's big enough to say you are a Twitch streamer. I, I do think that, but I don't know. It's just I feel like streaming is where like the cool kids are. I feel like, and YouTube's where the boomers are. I, I feel like a boomer for being on YouTube and not Twitch. Just for even saying that, the cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the cool but kids. I, I, I do stream on Twitch when I stream. It's just I don't know. It's just like when a, was the last time you streamed? Months ago. I don't think you can say you stream. Oh no! But if I if <laughs> no, but I, you know. I'm a Twitch partner, so I just want to make sure that they still, <laughs> they, they still like me. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this, that's, I love Twitch. It's great. <laughs> you exposed me. Um, but yeah, so Nick Minter, um, Sportsman United. Yeah. yeah. Loves photography. Loves photography, yeah. That's your, that's your, like, your, probably pa- your main passion, I guess. I would say so, yeah. Mm. Kind of like, weirdly, because of YouTube, because it was your original camera that got me into because I always liked it when I was young. Yeah. And then you had a Canon 60D. And I remember you upgraded to like this monster film camera thing. Yeah. Back when everyone was like, we need film cameras. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You're like, Nick, do you want to, do you want this? Mm. Yes, please. You definitely get a lot of cool gadgets, don't you? Because I know you'll, you'll do some, something crazy with a, with a certain thing in a a video and you're like, I don't really need it long term. I'll give it Nick. (laughs) (laughs) So you must get like all these really cool things. It's quite fun. Yeah. John gets some cool stuff as well. The camping video. He you, got, guys, you guys are in battle now. He got two inflatable <laughs> kayaks. That's sick. That is sick to be that fair. That is a great. And you still complain. You got one. Yeah, he still I complains. I've got the same as well. <laughs> we forgot to give James Marriott the banjo. Yeah, we did. I don't think he that. really wanted it, if I'm honest. Maybe, yeah. 
I mean, it's still there. He can still have it. If you want to, if you want to come back, James, you can. Yeah, if he if he if he wants it, yeah, he can yeah. have it. He wants uh, it. I'll give it. What him. is like the coolest thing you've ever got? Do you reckon? Not bought in like a video, but like received. Or is that something I should have asked for you to prepare? As Probably prepare. Yeah. You know what? This is actually a very sad thing. It's not even sad, but that rug. Oh that yeah, this is awesome. really very sick. Yeah, yeah. That is really awesome. Like that is. Yeah, that is really sick. Do you reckon everywhere you go now, you'll ask him to, I've forgotten the word for it, but make a rug, effectively? Nah. You wouldn't? You wouldn't I, I, hate, I, I hate asking Jamie for anything. Yeah. Because he's so, he, the thing is, I know if I ask, he'll do it because he's so nice. And I don't like that. Because like, if I ask you to do something you don't want to do, I want you to say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. ultimately you don't want to do it. Yeah, you don't want someone involved if they don't. Yeah, want to do but it. he's too nice that he'll go. Oh, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I do. And agree I'm like, no, that, please. Yeah. Like, if you don't want to do it, I'll never know. That's what we feel like about the podcast. Sometimes when we ask someone to be on it, we're like, do you really want to be on it, or are you just saying you want to be on it? You know, yeah. like, are you just saying yes because we've asked you and put you in an awkward? Position. But then, but then we're overthinking that. We should just be like, do you want to be on it? If they say no, fine. So you should else. always ask them in person when they're in a really tight corner. But then, yeah, but then again, if they do say <laughs> just, yes, just invite them here. Yeah. If they do say yes, that is their problem, right? Like if, if they said yes and they don't want to be on it, it's like, well, True, they say yes. But it's the same thing if I don't want them to like the next day. Oh, why did I say yes to yeah, this? Yeah, like the reason we've never asked Harry to be on the podcast is because we know he won't want to. Yeah. And it's like, we don't want to put him in that situation where he has, has to say no. Yeah. He will say no. He's, he's not afraid to say no. But I, I, I didn't want to. Simon said I'd be fired. <laughs> fired. <laughs> we forced you. I say Laura doesn't want to Some come Some people, on. you know, don't get a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Nick. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, but it's it's my birthday tomorrow. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, but welcome back to the What's Good podcast. This is a clip. So if you're watching this right now, subscribe. Nice. Yeah, subscribe what's right the now. What's clip? Uh, how did you first meet Talia? Oh, hey, oh. Have, you heard, have you actually heard this before? You Probably, but I'm going to pretend I haven't. So yeah, okay. you yeah. mentioned that on the, I think when Tali was a guest, mm. but it was your event. Upload. Upload. I wasn't listening when Tali was here, so we can, we can tell the story again. <laughs> Just kidding. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. But yeah, do subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, this, this, ta- you know, this, this, this title will be like how, how Nick first met Tali. So how good, did you? Good title of the clip. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe word um, it a bit better than that, but. <laughs> Nick's awkward in capital letters <laughs> but um, no it was it was that upload and it was I just remember going to Simon because there was she had just been hacked on Twitter yeah oh. she had just been hacked on Twitter and I was can remember. just I like forget. throwing a, a tantrum as as one would yeah, like, yeah you know yeah. Um, save myself um, <laughs> yeah so she was obviously very upset and sort of downstairs having a go trying to figure out who mm. it was and all that and I went up to Simon I was like Simon, there is some crazy lady downstairs. She was walking around on her phone going like, yeah. Oh, oh. So you, you, weren't, you weren't in the same location when no, you, so you saw up, her completely randomly. Simon was upstairs. I was in the green room bit, just sort of like waiting for Simon to finish his like meet and greet. Or no, you're on stage. You're on and, stage. You, and you didn't know Talia from like... Didn't have a... No, right. So you literally said to Simon, there's a crazy lady downstairs. Didn't know, yeah. And Simon was like, that's my girlfriend. No, he didn't, didn't say that. He was just, you were just like, oh yeah. I was embarrassed. He called her crazy lady. (laughs) I was like, yeah, I don't know. And I like tried to explain who it was or like what she looked because I didn't, I didn't know your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Wow. (laughs) Exposed. Oh my God. (laughs) That's the next clip. (laughs) (laughs) But I didn't know. Nick Nick Minter hates Tali. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Yeah, well, that's that's the KSI one, isn't it? KSI hates Tali more, like a million views Let's be honest, Mini Minter's brother, Nick, hates Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Well, not even Nick, just Mini Minter's brother. brother, yeah. But Joking. yeah, no, so it was, an, and I remember going up and you're just like, oh yeah, but at the same one, I remember, and this is now when I look back at it, because were you dating at that time? Yes. So now, now when she I look back at it. She would have come to that event. <laughs> now, now when I look back at it, I can see the, why the reaction was, the reaction was, because I was always shifty. Yeah, yeah. Um, good lad, I miss him. Nice but um, yeah, and uh, I, we're just having a chat and you were all going out for an after party. Mm. And I had to go to where I was teaching at the time, I think. But um, so I had to get back up for it. Yeah. And um, and yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, trying to persuade Nick to come to the art bite. And she was sitting, she turned around and said, oh, yeah, you should come. Like, it'd be really fun. Blah, blah. She went, and he went, oh, do you know who this is? And she went, no, no, no. And he went, oh, this is uh, Simon's brother, Nick. And she kind of went, oh, oh, like, uh, nice to meet you. Like, yeah, and yeah. now in my head, I play it back. Like, she was like. I, I'm dating your brother. You must know who I am, or something. Or like, <laughs> I'm and dating you, your you, brother. You, but you don't it. know, and uh, but now I can connect it. But back then I didn't connect it. Right. And because the next time we met, I think was at the football match. Probably. And she was sitting like three rows behind, mum and myself and dad, and a few of the friends. 
And again, you, you still hadn't told me. You were still still coy on the subject. And again, like... Just, gangster, yeah. innit? Yeah. Keep myself to myself. Yeah. And I was just like, Mom, yeah. that's that crazy girl. I was telling <laughs> you. <laughs> well, also, am I right in saying that you met her dad at a coffee shop? Yeah, yeah. Just met him at a coffee shop because yeah. I was speaking to the coffee guy. Um, great coffee guy. Um, and he he's like my local one. And we we're just having a chat. Yeah. And he said, what do you do? And I mentioned M7E and all that. And he said oh how do you get funding well i got on simon he went oh this guy's got a a, a daughter that does youtube and like nowadays yeah anyone under the age of sort of 21 has a youtube channel and this guy like her dad looks young he's a very yeah, good looking okay. man and he looks <laughs> he looks he looks young for it <laughs> and he so i was like okay this kid's daughter is probably like 12 so right right you know, yeah. youtube channel like, yeah of course yeah, she went, yeah oh yeah what does she do and she went oh she Sort of sings, games. She does like streaming as well. And oh gaming. yeah, bet, bet she does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but she's not. She's not big though. Like my my brother is. <laughs> <laughs> my brother could beat your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. And I was like, um, I was like, bit weird. Streaming, <laughs> <laughs> streaming, gaming, music. I was like, there can't be that many. And he went, I went, how many subscribers does she have? He's like, oh, I've forgotten how many she has. Like, it's not a million. It's not a million. That's what we know. It was like a few hundred thousand. <laughs> I think he said. I've like, <laughs> forgotten how much, but um, yeah. He said, like, "Oh yeah," and I was like, "There can't be that many people. Uh, like, it has to be." And I went, "Is her name Talia?" And he just went, "Yeah." And I went, "Simon's my brother." And he went, "No, no." So we <laughs> started, like, that is he took us a selfie, like sent it to Talia. Like, it's like, guess who I'm but with? I, I was, so Talia texted me a picture of them together, <sighs> and I thought I was like, "There's this weird." Thing going on where they've arranged to meet up. Right, my brother and her dad <laughs> yeah. have arranged to just hang out. I wish, I <laughs> wish we'd arranged to like hang out and get beer or something like that. Just it would have been the funniest like it's spur of so, the moment. Let's yeah. just go get beers and have a night out thing of like. <laughs> it is such like a small world thing, right? Yeah. This happens a lot. You know, those type of things, but it does in my head, right? It does seem like the most boomer conversation ever. What that, that, that you're, you're, you 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 and uh, her dad just chatting. Yeah. Yeah, it's the what? well. It's just like you know. Oh, you know, I've got a, I've got a brother who does you know he dabbles on YouTube. You know, he's like, oh yeah, I've got a yeah. daughter. She does, she does the internet. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and I can just imagine these, these you know you and him just they're like you know chatting away, and then you're like, wait, oh my, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it just seems like yeah, really what, what we, kind of what kind of films does he make? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah films. And that's what I do appreciate. To be fair, you're very like this as well. John's like this. He'll just talk to strangers. Like yeah. the difference yeah. between us, we wouldn't even, you know, obviously you'd know Tolly's dad, so you'd talk to him. But if you met this guy, <laughs> I wouldn't even entertain this conversation. I'd be like, well, he was I... talking to the the coffee man. Yeah. I and then he introduced the you to, right, okay. Got snapshot coffee. But even that wouldn't do that. I'd be like, hi, can I have a latte, please? Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'd leave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, sometimes I don't even order a coffee. I just go and have a chat with the coffee guy. Great guy. Yeah, no, well, that, that, well, that's, that's what our generation, well, well I mean, you are, are you the same generation? He's still over 30, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's old. Well, well, okay, that's what was on YouTube. We're just socially awkward, aren't we? Yeah. Like we just, so that's why we started YouTube. Yeah, it is why. It is we why. sat inside all day. We, we couldn't do anything else. We, had, we could have no success in the real world because we we're all weird. So we turned to YouTube <laughs> to <laughs> try and f scratch some like bit of success out of life. But um, As I talk too much off camera, not enough on. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. Backfires. But it, 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 I wouldn't do that. I would love to do that. It's not because like, you meet people like that. You know, you're in that situation. And it's, and it's a fun m m like moment. Oh, we just don't have the moment. It is my favorite thing. I love I love either meeting someone you know or just like meeting a, a cool person. Yeah. And you you have that chat and it's very like, that's it, done. They're going to walk that way. They're going to walk. Because it used to be, oh yeah, give me your, give me your Facebook. We'll, we'll be friends now. And then it's like, mm -hmm. you never will. Yeah. So you sort of learn that, have the chat. It's fun. Move on with your life. Sounds, like, sounds amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. I always sounds get told like off nightmare. for it. Yeah. <laughs> but but it, yeah, it, it, same as same, but I would love to not have that nightmare. I'd love, yeah. to just, I'd love to just walk down the street and be like, oh, hi, you look cool. Like someone stopped me the other day and was like, oh, your shoes look great. I was like, thanks. Like, imagine you wouldn't oh, do that. I, I wouldn't love do that doing someone. that to people. Today, I got a story today, right? Right. So, right. Oh my God. <laughs> this, this, I got into a cab. <laughs> I've seen it live. This is the best thing. <laughs> yeah. So I got into a cab, right? And you know, when you get into a cab, where do you sit? In, in an Uber? Uh, front seat. Really? No, you're joking. No, no. It depends, yeah. on the, depends on the person. What do you mean? Just in the back? Back left, right? 
Yeah, COVID now. Probably, yeah. If I'm on my own, I always get into the back left. I don't sit yeah, behind the driver. Yeah, so you have the leg room. Like the leg room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, you're not directly in their mirror. Whereas I said, when you sit behind them, you can always see them. And I'm like, I don't want to look at you. Do you deep this too much? I, I just get in the nearest side. I do. This is why, that's why I'm a weirdo. I, deep, I, I take everything too seriously. Anyway, so. <laughs> Cancels the Uber. I just couldn't hack <laughs> in that one. Yeah, so another one. He pulls up. <laughs> obviously, drive in the UK, we drive on the right hand side. So he pulls up and there's a, there's a you know, a space behind him. And I'm, I'm here, right? So I'm on the side. Of of the back right, so I'll, if I got in right where he, where he drove up, I would be behind him. I'm thinking I can't do that. I, I don't do that, right? So I walk all the way around, which is awkward already, because the guys probably like just get in. You know, why yeah. are you making it awkward? I go all the way around, and I notice usually it's because obviously the you know the driver's got a lot, a lot of leg room for themselves, so you are cramped in the back right. So I was like, let's, let's go back left. But anyway, I guess someone who was in the cab before him or whatever, for whatever reason, the chair was so close. But obviously, I don't want to then go back round. <laughs> so I just firm it. I just get in. And I'm like, I can't even get in the car. I'm like, fucking hell, like this, right? And then I'm trying to put my belt on. And my belt's like dead back, back here. I'm like this. And then I'm, I'm looking. But I don't want to let him know that I'm uncomfortable. So I'm looking for like where the latch would be to like push it back. And then anyway, I just give up. So like, bro, I'm not kidding. The chair, and my legs are around the chair in front of me. <laughs> But I'm literally like, I'm like riding the chair in front of me. I'm like saddling it, right? And Why are you not just saying to him, can you move this chair forward? Or just I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want to let him know that I'm uncomfortable. Because it's awkward then. So Why? I, I don't know. I don't know. So I just firm it, right? And then and then I want, I want to make, put the window down. So I have to like go back to put the window down. And I'm just like this, like enjoying the day. And then I can't even get my phone out of my pocket. It's so uncomfortable. Then like literally after like a minute or two, because I don't want him to, I don't want him to know that <laughs> I've actually thought about this whole entire process you know you know <laughs> like he knows now this guy's weird but but if if i actually mentioned it he, he's, he's actually he's out that i'm weird right so then anyway like a minute or two and he goes you're not gonna put your seat back <laughs> and i just die i'm like oh i should just ask <laughs> and i was like i don't know where the latch is <laughs> and he, he's like it's in between your legs so i, I push it and then I, I go back and it's fine then <laughs> but now it's worse i, I should just own up to it and be like i'm uncomfortable it's just the way he was like you're not gonna move your chair i was gonna say he's gonna think you're weird at the fact that you're just like mounting a chair in front of you. I know, but at least he didn't say anything. <laughs> and you didn't but even talk to him when you were mounting it. It wasn't like you were leaning forward trying to have a chat with no. him. No, uh, he, he was like, weather's nice, isn't it? I was like, yeah, great day. <laughs> <laughs> he got a mask yesterday. <laughs> I've just found this out earlier, oh, like oh, just before we started this podcast. So th this is the same essence. Right, so he... You overthink. He lost his mask. <laughs> yeah. So he asked uh, the concierge for a mask. They give him one. It's the standard, you know, the blue one, etc. It's got a bit of elastic. Yeah. Puts it on straight away. Snaps one of the sides. So I don't, I don't know how he's done that in the first place. That's, he then gets in the cab. the panic of Randall. <laughs> gets in the cab and he's like, well, it's not going to stay on my face. So he chew, he bites it for the whole journey so it looks like it's staying on his face. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have one. No, I don't have one on me. Yeah, so like, yeah. The, when I got in the cab first, I was holding it here like that, and I was trying to wrap it. I was trying to wrap it around my ear and and tie it, and it kept falling apart. So at the end, I just yeah, I'll show the photo. See, if I had known that, I would have just talked to him as much as possible. Like, Randolph, what do you think of this? Yeah, what do you think of this? <laughs> yeah. you, so I, I, <laughs> the whole thing back, like with, it, with, with the mask in my mouth, and then I took a photo of it. I was gonna put it in the group chat, and I was like, nah, don't don't do that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we can we send that to John? No, no, the... Can you get you can get the yeah. angle, can't you? <laughs> that, is... <laughs> that is so. Um... <laughs> oh, just awkward, mate. Um, but yeah. I like that because then you you get the stories be, by being awkward. Oh yeah, I get the story. It's great for the podcast, but yeah. for, for myself, for seeing <laughs> in general, and then not... you deep the next thing even more because of it. Yeah, and then I'll be I'll be in the shower like tomorrow or tonight, and I'm like, oh, why did I not just ask the guy? Can I be much ever? <laughs> I could, I could, I, I've got moments like this every single day, every single second. I'm just so awkward. But, but also, I'm not though. Like, you know, if I call, so if I'm out and about, I'll always be like, oh, Laura, can you, like, you go up and order the food. But I'm not, when I, if I do it, I'm fine. Like, I can call people up, I, I, but I always want Laura to do it. I want Laura, can you order the burger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm socially awkward, but then I'm not though at the same time. It's just confidence. It is just confidence at the end of the day. But anyway. I think you need to release more music. If you release more music, I think you'll be more confident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you're when you're a rapper, true. But I've always been caught in between. Like, am I do I do I want to be a cool rapper or do I want to just be who I am? Open for no, no, no. I think you could be a rapper but still be who you are. But yeah. I think the rapping gives you more confidence because yeah, it's, it does. It's like what people perceive as cool. Yeah, it, it is true, isn't and it? And then yeah. like you can still be yourself, but but still know that I'm sick. Yeah, yeah. Well, music's coming, kind of. Did you like that song no. I played last night? Yes, but I have heard it for the last. 
Have you months. already heard it? Okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It was a proper yeah. listening party in the end, wasn't it? Well, I don't know how it happened because we're I'll playing play music. music too. JJ's <laughs> playing some his, yeah. And th- then I was like, oh, let me just listen to my track. Not for like, not to get it played. I was just like, oh, I, you know, make things. Because we're all sat in a room, like drinking with music and we're all just chilling, talking. And then we see him just like his phone like this. And we're like, what are you listening to? He's like, just my song. No, no, to- Toby went. Are you listening to your own tune? And I was like, yeah. And then it just spread. I was like, guys, what? And then I, and then I played it's... it. And it's not, it's, JJ was playing like, you know, his music at the minute is very like out there. It's very like popular, you know, it will be streamed. It's, it, it, you know, bops. This song that I've got is just like, a, it's like a chill track, isn't it? It's just like, a, it's yeah. good, but Ooh, it's not really. One. Cat, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, it's it's a rap song. Yeah, right? but it's not it's not like a chartable song at all. Not a chilled song like it's not it's not like Jason Mraz or nothing. No, 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 no. it's not no, like 1975. That'd be a like big that. old change. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I had, I had to play it, and to be fair, I do enjoy playing my music in front of people, not because I want to, not because I I want to be like oh listen to me, but more so I can get the vibe. So mm. like I, that, I was gonna put that song out, and now I won't. Because well, yesterday, yeah, what was, the, I, was it not a good reaction? No, 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 it wasn't. It, it, it was a good reaction, but it wasn't like this is sick. So I was like, uh, no, I will put it out, but not it's not a like single. an album song. Yeah, I won't put it as a single. I was going to drop it and, like, and just like put it out there because it's one of the only songs I've got kind of finished. What, three or four, but that was the most finished one. But um, now, now I've got that reaction. I was like, I'll hold it for like a mixtape or album or something mm. like that, which is good, you know. But then, if you know, if that's why JJ was good to play. That's why he should play his music more often because that reaction that we gave to one of the songs will help him be like, okay, that's a banger. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't know how we got to the subject. Neither now. do it's I. Crazy. I was talking about being awkward. We were talking about Tolly's dad and, and and you, and then we got to <laughs> me in a taxi somehow. Anyway, right. So let's talk about can we get any awkward moments or awkward stories from yourself and also Simon's childhood or, or growing up together? So this is something you needed to prepare. Yeah, yeah. I don't really because it was. Good. I'd say we got on pretty well growing up. That we you, only you, ever had one proper fight. Oh well, oh, well please, say. please explain. But I can't really remember the reason behind it. We had a fight? I, I just remember we were both pretty young. I remember we Still are. <laughs> your mates, no. I don't know whether they want their names said in it, but it was the twins. Okay. And I had the older brother around. And I remember it was when they were leaving and it was something to do with like, you know, I kicked a football at Simon or you kicked a football at me. And it was See that like, bullying. Yeah, you are, you are the, the older brother. And the <laughs> you straight away went for you kicking like a football at me. Escalated sort of thing. But I just remember, yeah, we had that. And I remember like sitting afterwards being like, that was weird. And then like by that evening playing PlayStation again. I do actually, no, no, no offense to both of you and 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 Johnny. Do you call him John or Johnny? Johnny, Johnny. Um, but it does seem a little bit weird that you got on. You do get on so well. Like, yeah. what are you trying to say? It's you saying we're inbred or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying it's a bit like psychopathic. I was close. Psychopathic? You're too nice. You must be a psychopath. <laughs> how, many, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and a sister, and we all argue so much. Especially the brothers. No, like we we have little little arguments. Like, no, but they argue. Oh, like me, yeah, me, me, my, like we're all yeah. Me and my brother are very like hot headed. Me and my other brother are very hot headed. Those two together are very hot headed and, and so different. And then yeah, every every you know every angle in the tri- in the triangle we, we were arguing. Even my sister. We we're, we're very we get on very well. But we we if it, if we're arguing, it's like all hell is being is breaking loose. My dad listening and I will definitely tell you the same way as well. It's mental. So I do feel like I, 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 I've got kind of weird vibes from you guys just you know, being you know, being nice to each other. I feel like, what I, the hell? All siblings are supposed to like hate each other but love each other deep down. Do you know what I mean? No? Well, oh, clearly no. you don't. Clearly you don't because you, you know you guys are so nice to each other. Yeah, stop being nice. Like, <laughs> especially because you're so close in age as well. No, but, see, you know, I, think I think that's, that's what helps because like you used to play football with my mates growing up yeah. all the time. Like, so it's almost like you're the same age, but nothing like like yellow card, like, bang! Like, you do oh yeah, you no, we did that, and, stuff, and like we yeah. did other games like. But you'd be like, oh Nick. <laughs> 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 What was that? <laughs> no, no, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, oh, Nathan, mom, look what he's just done. But we, we were so far apart in age that that wouldn't really happen. So if he did that to me, I'd probably die. You know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's so, so much older than me. But like, you know, if I was... No, like... Wow. Oh, we played like random games, like... Um, well, he would do things like... Had like a bottle cap, for example. Right. Oh, so, the bottle cap game was good. Like, well, it wasn't really a game. He just said like, <laughs> let, let me just press this bottle cap on like your arm. Okay. No, no, it was it was a it was a game you do it on my arm and I'll do it on that's, your arm. That's that's when I got old enough. It was enough called to, like watches. No, that's when I got old enough to do it like to you as well. <laughs> yeah, and so you, so you know you know a bottle arms. cap like say a coke uh, bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. a but one you have to use a yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you know how it's like sharp around the edges yeah, almost. Yeah. So you literally just put it on your arm and then just push. 
and the other one does it on your arm and pushes it. It's yeah, who, it, who, it leaves a mark. Leaves yeah. first. Yeah, who, and we'd who, also who do the like the friends. You know the friends game where you put your foreheads against each other and then. Do you remember I beat Vidal in Vegas? The time we went to the, we were on the way to the shooting range or something. Mini Min to beat Vidal in a fight. I beat, I, I, I beat Vidal. We played the game where you put your, you put your foreheads on each other's forehead and then you have your hand on the back of the head and all you do is push and it hurts. I might not have been yeah. in that cab or in-, in We were in like a mini bus. I wasn't there then. Oh, no. That was only cool Oh, kids. maybe I, maybe I, I do remember it. In, yeah, in, you in you like were definitely a, there. Like a, like a, a limo one. Like yeah. A big, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah. And we I, I did that. Watching, I was just, I literally yeah. just like, Push foreheads and then he, I remember, I remember he said it hurt, so I stopped. So you could beat him up in a fight, yeah. If we're not allowed to use anything other than our foreheads that are already connected, yeah, we should get Vidal, <laughs> we should get Vidal on the podcast. Yeah, he'll be good. Yeah, I, I missed him actually, especially just before or just after one of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to chat to him. Like we, we saw him at, at Freezes. You know the video Freezy did. No. Oh, you, maybe you didn't see him. So you know, you know the video. Oh, where, you know I did. I did. I yeah, stayed. Yeah. I stayed for it. Yeah, yeah. So we both did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and he, he said it's been a year since I've seen, I've seen him because oh, obviously because wow. of COVID. And I was like, you know, and I, I, I used to hang around with him a lot, obviously, because you know it, it was it was a build up for. I, I was filming for JJ like for a lot of the fights, mm-hmm. and he was obviously training JJ, so I'd see him all the time. So we, you know, I guess bonded in a weird way. Um, but that yeah, sounds pretty psychopathic. Yeah, you got, yeah, on, you, well you him, got yeah. on with him. But yeah, he's not my brother though. He might consider you a brother. Mm. Wow, that's even more psychopathic. We didn't grow up together. We didn't grow up together. You know, it's like you wouldn't like. Oh, nah, I just feel like no. Like we'd have arguments, but not, they're all just like war under bridge after like ten minutes. You're like, no, all right, right, move on. You hold, you hold in our family. But we hold be, grudges. To be fair, never, I do get told never that forget. a lot because, like, whenever I have arguments with near enough anyone that's not family, within ten minutes, I'm like. I'm like move on now right like we've had it you've had yeah, it you don't, you move, on. It. You don't just, move on just move on you remember it forever and every single thing you do then in your life going on from that you keep remembering that <laughs> you know what I mean so like you know next time at Christmas you're like nah I'm, I'm getting oh, no, we'll have stories like, like that today. where it's like yeah someone cheated at a game and it's like five years later it pops into your head and you're like they cheated I'm gonna cheat this and you're like why'd you do that oh, uh, you okay now we're getting there it's like, like yeah but they're not like no 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 no, no. <laughs> we're getting there now because so. you're making it sound like they're like deep rooted like family issues because we played a game of who could eat more steak one time and I ate more steak and he still won't admit it. No, I ate more steak. Like that. We're getting there now. But that is <laughs> yes! literally... I want more of this. So in the family, who's the cheater? On any board games? I, I, don't, I don't want... Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Right. Awful. Johnny. Johnny. But he's good at it though. No, he's, he's, good, he's, at, he's, he's good at games. He's good at board games and he's good at video games, but he enjoys cheating, cheating but he almost enjoys being caught cheating yeah. more than cheating itself. We played, oh. we played cheat once, you know, the card game where you're like, oh, two kings. And he cheated in cheat. He said cheat. For himself. Oh. Like, I, I, that's himself how bad out. he is. Yeah, he's yeah. really bad at trying to cheat. Right. Yeah. But he's but good he, at the game. He revels in it. Yeah. yeah. He, loves, yeah. he loves the drama of it, but like in a fun way. If he gets angry, it's like, right. Uh, just oh, leave no, I'd, I'd like it to get angry. Well, he lives, he's like JJ in terms of when we play games like Monopoly, for example. He wants to just watch the room burn. Yeah. I, Whereas I, I as well, yeah. yeah. So he won't trade. He'll trade if it screws someone else over. Yeah, yeah, nice. But that's it. Yeah, like you know, if I'm like last place, he'll trade with me just so it gets him into last place, and it, right. it might literally fuck himself over. Whereas but, I reckon you guys, you'd be like, oh look, Nick, I've got the the train that you need, and you've got Park Lane. I need that. Let's make a trade, and you'll be like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. I think we just wouldn't trade. Yeah, probably. I was too stubborn. But like, like, so actually, yeah, because you are quite stubborn as well. So I, stubborn, I, I assume yeah. that in the family dynamic, that would you know, he's the stubborn one in the family. Yeah, well, I'm the I'm the the youngest. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't matter. I can be stubborn, and my mum just goes like, oh, "Simon's right." Yeah, so, he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not anymore though. Look, ask me. Did you ask me it earlier? You asked me. He said, "Who's your Who's your mum's favorite?" Oh. See, and you know you're your favorite. Yeah, but she won't admit. I, I'm no. not the favorite. I'm not, I'm not the favorite, but I'm the youngest though, so I've got a, a lot of sympathy. You're probably your mum's favorite. I'm not. I know I'm not. You're your dad's favorite though. No, I'm not. What? Who, my, who's your parents' favorite? So my my sister is my dad's favorite. Ah, uh, daughter. Yeah. But I think their their family is no offense. They're weird enough that they'll probably actually say it. Um, like their dad's probably like, "Shut up, you're not my favorite." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum's favorite is the oldest, I believe. Like, has has this been said? Or is this what the kids all have all like gone? No, no, no. You're the favorite. Why is he the favorite? I would. Pr- they would all pr- probably disagree. They'd all, they'd all say I'm the favorite. 
That's oh, like, then you're the favorite. Uh, you're the favorite. No, 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 no. The parents wouldn't. The, the, the kids would. The kids would be like, oh, he's the favorite. Yeah, yeah the then, favorite. then right. you're the favorite. But yeah. you gotta remember, I did, I did, I'm like, I'm like an only child, right, with three older siblings. Yeah, yeah I get that, because they are that much older. They're so, no, I yeah. get it, I get it. So, like, I think my brother's like, my sister's the, ne- the closest to me. She's like, it's still like, I think she's 36, 35. Damn. So, what's that? Seven? So, eight years older than me. Yeah, like. Yeah, Maybe eight years older than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's like they're not. When I when I was like an only child with Christmas. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like at Christmas and events would come back and I'd see, yeah. see them all, etc. But growing up, I was on my own pretty much. So I would seem like I'm the favorite in that sense because you're the favorite. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, I, all the other no, kids say you're the favorite. You're the favorite. But I, but who was the favorite before I was there? That's what I'm saying to you because doesn't matter. Uh, Johnny Johnny was the favorite before you were born. <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> there's, there's only two years after that, and then two years after you though. So what I'm saying is like I was a favorite because I was the uh, only one. They consolidated that time yeah, of yeah. favoritism. Exactly. But in those yeah, in that and then three, they decided Shh, we don't have a favorite. Well, let's have another kid. <laughs> How much I, hate, is... I hate these kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need a new one. No, I wasn't really like a, I wasn't planned really. Oh. Neither was. No, were you, were you? Yeah, I was your Christmas present. Oh yeah, weird. Christmas. Christmas. Both both brothers asked for a, another brother for Christmas, <laughs> oh. and I was born nine months later. Your family is too happy. <laughs> <laughs> you're too nice. You're, you're you're a great family, and it sickens me. No, I, I, it's, it's just jokes, guys. I'm just joking. Camera goes off, jumps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've heard the way he talks about his mum's roast dinner. Oh, I would never say such a thing. Yeah, yeah. They, the fact that you literally just went. She's she's lost it. She's she needs to off. step yeah. up. They, they, they bring that up all the time. But I'm not surprised. That's but, like but she has. St- she did step up though. Like it, the food got better. So in in you know, you know what I'm saying like I've I've won. Man. <laughs> I've won. I've won. Like and no he gets offense. away with it because he's the favorite. Exactly. There you go. If she was, like I think she did take offense to it. Obviously, of course she did. Yeah. Obviously, I was joking. Like, I'm I'm just trying to be funny on the podcast. I was just I was just joking. But then, but then, like I told you, I went home, and the next time I went home, massive feast. It was amazing. So <laughs> she's they, like, "Do they listen? They listen." The my, my my dad does, and he'll probably yeah. just be like, oh, "They'll relay." Gail. It, yeah. Do you know my mom's called Gail as well? Oh, I did actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. weird. Yeah. You listen to podcasts. You said it on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> only yeah. the, the only other Gail I know of. Oh yeah, nice. Bad white Gail. You've, you've, okay, you've, first. You've, you've just lied in that podcast. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you hate your family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't. I love my family. They're amazing. Well, I just spent the weekend with them, and they're great. They're, they're all great. Did you have any arguments? No. See, there you no. go. Too happy. Psychopaths. I think, we'll be, yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. You got to remember when I was when I was the young. I'm the youngest, obviously. Like I just said to you. So like, I'm very emotional. When you when you get older, you do start to lose all that like bickering, you know. So I'm at that stage yeah. now. Um, but I'm also very I'm very stubborn, like you are as well. And I also hate like injustice. <laughs> No, I'm with you on that. You know what I mean, so yeah. if, like if something's wrong, I'll bring it up. Superhero, or something. <laughs> 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 it's like, to a real low I'm, level of we got uneven amount of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> if something's wrong, I'll try and fix it, even if it doesn't involve me. If, if something's not fair, I'm like, that's not fair. See, I think oh, we, no, we, we came up with fair. Out. We came up with fair ways though for stuff. Rock like, for example, right? Sickening. Potatoes, roast potatoes. When you have a roast dinner, this is one thing I've noticed that all other families do, which I find really weird. They all just dip. they they just have the plate of food. Well, they didn't serve it. So we, when we have like a roast dinner, for example, we have all the all the food is just on the table, like well, obviously in trays and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But not just mm. not just potato on the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, like we yeah. <laughs> we have like the potatoes here. Yeah. The I don't know, the gravy there. And you help yourself. Yeah. We do, we do that. So a lot of families I've met don't do that. The the like dad, for example, or the mum will literally just serve it up and they all have it. It depends. For us, it depends how many of us are there. So if there's space to do that, then we'll do it. If there's not enough space, they'll, they'll yeah. dish it up and then bring it in because there's nowhere to put it. But yeah. But we just come up with systems that are basically how you get to choose. So like the potatoes, there's always better potatoes. Yeah. Better roast potatoes. Potatoes are a so we prime rev- real estate. Every Sunday we played rock, paper, scissors to see who got first choice. And it would literally still be do. like, like, we still we do. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's so fair. I hate it. In yeah, my family, yeah. you take what you, you, you know, if you want the potatoes, you take the potatoes. I see, because no, it translates. Because I, when I was at uni, I remember once, there was our taxi was coming. This was the night you came to stay with us. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Passed out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everywhere. It's a common, common friend. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, our taxi was going up like this, this narrow road. And another taxi was coming down the narrow road. And neither taxi wanted to like, like go back at all. And he, like they started honking at each other and taxi men were getting angry. And in the other car was a bunch of drunk blokes our car a bunch of drunk blokes and like it started to get a bit like aggressive and i was like i don't i don't like this yeah so it just went out and like you know their car as soon as they saw us coming out 
they got out and we all sort of met. I just went, look, rock, paper, scissors, loser has to back down. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the, the other guys were really like, they would like, you could see their physical nature just changed. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> Played it. We won. They got back to taxi and you saw them like, telling the taxi man, like, you need to get back. That's <laughs> amazing to me. And the taxi, yeah. the taxi guy went back. Rock, That's, paper, scissors. You solve everything. Rock, paper, scissors. Well, not. I, I, it sounds like a great way to do it yeah. and I applaud you because it's pure luck but you just don't like happiness well no because it's, it's, that's fair <laughs> <laughs> in my family like if you want the potatoes you've got to get them before the other person does he loves injustice but he has to be the solver yeah. of injustice I, I, yeah I, I, I won't I won't choose the potato I'll get the worst one if it means someone else has a potato that they like more than me I'm no you won't you just said it's yeah. first one gets yeah, it yeah yeah but I won't, so you I won't try I won't try yeah you, you just go you guys get the crispy ones I'll have that Maybe that's why you thought your mum's roast dropped off because you were always getting the... Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Exactly. No, no I, I mean, people think I'm very selfish, but I'm actually not. Do people think you're selfish? Right. So, you no, no, in my, in my family. Oh, okay. yeah. In my, but what, what, what well, I, they know you the best. They don't, they don't, they don't. They don't no one knows me. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> No, nah, they don't. Sorry, Laura. <laughs> Laura knows me. Laura knows who I am. But no, what I'm saying is, is like, uh, is... I, I, how do I put this? So... I am, into a counselling session. I am, I, but the other way around. Yeah. Well, it's because you guys got no gossip. Well, I, I, it's because I, I, I like, we like we'd have an argument where uh, we had a bunk bed, for example, in our bedroom, and oh, there we yeah. go. We got no, but it's it's not much. Like it was literally we just had a like a big argument where it's like I want to go on the top, and someone's like, sure, no, <laughs> go for it, mate. <laughs> no, I drew a line down the room. Yeah, he said we're going to split the room in half. Yes. This is my half. This is your half. How do you split the bunk bed in half? I just took the door. Yeah, he t- as in the room. He <laughs> so said, he was... you can have the room that side. I'll have the room this side. Right. So, he wasn't I was like, to leave. Right. so I started walking out. And he was <laughs> okay. like, no, that's my half. You've got to ask if you want to come in. Yeah. Nah, so as soon as he like started it. walking across the line, yeah. I started throwing punches. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. Yeah, now that... But that literally stopped after like a day. Oh. Like my mum literally came in and went, what is this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of the line. Go to bed. I can't believe, again, that's it. I can't believe you, you're, just, you're two years apart. <laughs> Baffling. But it's great though. Congrats, guys. Because it was great being... We didn't We didn't achieve this goal on our own of being two years apart. Well, I asked for you, so... That's true. I, uh... What I want to know is what... Well, <laughs> I, I will get onto the story of... Uh, no, so what, what I'll say is... Just, I'll leave it there. I'm, I'm very uh, I'm very fair and, I, and I'm very, like, selfless in, in the family. But if someone... But I do hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? So if someone no. wrongs... No! <laughs> so if someone wrongs, really? I'll never forget it. Okay. And so, for example, my brother... I taught in clubs, my brother stole my, TV, my screen. I'll never forget it. Wait, what do you mean? So your so screen? We play, you know, Big Brother Clubs. Yeah. My series. So the other day we recorded an episode and I was he my showed parent. us his setup. He's on some, you know, like, you know, like TVs that have like, like a huge butt. Oh yeah. He was yeah. on one of them. It was, it's like a, tw- it's like a 15 year old TV. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, 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 and like the, the, the picture's okay, but it's the, it's the response time. Like, you know, like a gamer monitor. The whole point yeah. is that it's very, you know, when, you, when you're playing clubs, it's already got like a, Slow response time anyway, because of the nature of the, the connection. It just was really bad. And and, and then I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no. <laughs> he was about to do a spoiler, but he stopped himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no spoiler. Anyway, what I'll say is, right? So I bought at Christmas a screen. The monitor, the monitor I use at home, I bought one for my parents' house. Whenever I go back, I can always, you know, film or record or whatever. Yeah. I can always do that, you know. So this, you know, I took my Xbox with me. I was like, you know, I'll, I'll play Big Brother Clothes. I'm available. I, I, I couldn't find any headphones, but I was like, this is fine. Perfect. I've got my laptop, laptop to record my, my, my audio and I'll have my great, my screen, right? Got home and I was like, oh, I said to my dad, I'm going to just peel off like later and just go and play his game for a little bit to record with Simon. Um, where's my screen? And he was like, I've seen the screen at your brother's <laughs> who lives like four hours away. I'm like, what? So you stole my screen and I'll never forget it. Is this the same <laughs> brother that you got Pokemon cards? No. Oh, different okay. brother. I was going to say. They stole your Pokemon cards as well. No, no, no. no. Stole those. <laughs> no, I, I, bought, I bought some off him. I bet they'll never forget it. I bought some off him and, and the PSA returns came back and we went through them together. It's a, a bit of an awkward situation, really, because he was like, "Damn, them grades are good." <laughs> 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 but no, I mean, yeah, I've got two brothers, as you know. But no, so yeah, I'll I'll never forget it. But and it's it's more, it's, and I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So you're but mad. If, no, so you're mad. He, if you said to me like, "Oh, can I use, can I have this screen?" I'd be like, "Yeah," and I just get another one. Well, it's perfect. Just took it. Still never forgiven you for stealing his Xbox. Yes, juice. The account. It's all, all coming uh, out now. You know, you know, real Nimrod. Yeah, yeah, The yeah, name yeah, that yeah, I yeah, used yeah. for years. That's Johnny's old account. Uh, that was actually, that's the only thing that there ever was arguments because the, our internet, it, we were countryside sort of yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. like internet. And the internet was so bad that uh, only one person could use the internet at a time. Mm-hmm. And until you figured out, I need to drive to JJ's to upload, 
like if he was uploading or he was trying to like play with fangs back in like when you did that like in american time yeah 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 or that if he was using the internet no one else could and johnny obviously oh. is a big gamer like I was trying like, to create a legacy like, here by having stuff. a youtube channel yeah you know? exactly and johnny he was, and he was like yelling back. like it was like the old days like get off the internet it was like it, johnny's like no it's my hour i can like nice and i'll just be there like on this is what i want to hear Yahoo but again it it's wasn't all, that, it's all coming out now it like, wasn't that big an issue was no, no, it no 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 see see now, now i'm starting to tell you some of my stories i'm extracting secrets from you guys no but they're not big issues like you know okay you see how we were in the first or, or even second Sidemen house. Yeah. That's well, literally how say, if, if my brother hears this, I'm sorry for like saying that you stole my, if you want the TV, have it. But like, I just wish you told me. Sorry, go on. I just, I just say that. <laughs> he would talk about that in the shower later. If you yeah, I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you know how we, how we were like, it was just kind of like, everyone just does their own thing. Yeah. That's literally what it was. Like that was the same our house. It was literally just. But if, I know. guess if he's, if he's playing games, then you have to say like, Johnny, come on, I, I really have to film now. Yeah, well, I'd say to him, like, oh, I'm filming, you know, just be like, yeah, half, half, just half an hour more. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And then in terms of like school, yeah, is where all the arguments would have been. We literally were almost at the same point at school, you know, only two years apart. So we wouldn't have that much difference. Oh, did you go to the same school? Oh, yeah. yeah. And you saw each other in the playground? Yeah. All, That's mad. All I, three of us. See, my, my, there was never a stage that all three were in the same school, though. I was never in the same school as Johnny. Yeah. Because every time I was like, apart. I would join secondary school, he would go and sit for me. Yeah. I'd join whatever. Yeah. yeah. My my brothers and sisters went to the same school I did, but obviously nine years later, but all the teachers who knew them always used to compare me to them. I think you got that a lot. I hate it. Yeah. Because like, yes. by the time I, you get to the third, I blew the, this, <laughs> blew the comparison away. The second, wow. <laughs> the second never really He's gets it too much, but then the third one will get it more. Or wow. fourth or fifth or whatever. I say that. So you, you, were, you the, were you the, right? So you were the golden child. He was it primary school for sure. Bro, I was so smart in like primary school. You are legit. No, 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 but like primary school, like year three, I was in top two students. Wow. Year Times six. Tables, he knows all How, how many students were in <laughs> class? Two. No, no, no. There was a lot. Like there was a lot. <laughs> but they literally put me in, it was a girl, but they put us on a separate table. Because you were too clever. It was like sets, but on you table. Can't put, yeah. You can't put them together because like the world would be, uh, uh, world hunger would just cease to exist. No, it's just, it but then just it got, a bit of a perv to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it got to year six and I was like, doing well you know yeah top sets but you know i'm in the middle and then I literally it got towards year 11 i'm like very average year 13 when, i'm in the lower half when you met jj it started to go downhill nah it was already going down after okay. like year two year three. Oh wow okay, yeah no i peaked i peaked in year two. i peaked in years <laughs> very early six years old no legit i peaked downhill. in like year two but that is the way though when you're when you're growing up like especially for me like my mom would always like Teach me stuff. So like, I'll be in like the bath and she'll be like, do my times tables. Like, what's this? What's that? And I'll be like, firing it out. And then you find interest. And you're like, well, actually, I, I like football a lot more than I like yeah. maths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do this now. Or like music. And then you start, that's it's good. It's good though, because that's what develops your skills now, isn't it? Like, yeah. what you enjoy in life. But um, I, feel, like, I feel like that carried through that. You know what my predicted grades were? For, for uni, a for A level. Were you pure A's? I was an A star and two A's. Were you? Predicted, yeah. No. Like, that's that's some mad prediction. I got BCC, <laughs> not, not BBC. No, uh -huh. big brother close. Yeah, or <laughs> big no, uh, <laughs> no. But I got BCC. Yeah. So like my reputation, I, I was very good. I was very good at finding someone who could carry me. Nice. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, same. Alex Rathan. <laughs> he, oh, yeah, I've heard, very I've heard smart. Of him, heard of him. Very smart That's guy. Smart, also smart lived two minutes away from us. Yeah. So Andy, I was always Andy. like. Miss, um, we live like right next to each other, so it'd be really easy if we could work on a project. Nice. He's also really smart. <laughs> See, well, like, you're smart in that situation. Yeah. Street smarts. Street smart, yeah. Uh, so what I wanted to ask is, so you're two years older than Simon <laughs> and Johnny is two years older than you. Yeah. Three. It's like two and a half each way. It's yeah. Obviously. Well, no, it was, you were two school years above. No, you're two years older, but you're three school years. Oh. Yeah. Johnny's... Three years older, but two school years yeah. above you. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got you. Um, so I guess what I was going to say is, did the dynamic change between you and Johnny when Simon was born? But I guess you were very young, right? You were like two years old. Yeah. Two and four. So. Yeah. But who, who was, who, who are closer? Are you, are you two closer than, than you and Johnny are and you and Johnny are or Johnny and you are? I mean, I talk to Johnny quite a lot. Play Ooh. games with each other Ooh. quite a lot. And you're, not, and, and, and you're not invited. How do you no. feel about that? Well, no, we invite him. He just doesn't text back. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? He's used to it. Yeah, <laughs> is what it is. I've still got one other. Brother. I want some drama. <laughs> you see what I mean, though. We're just—it's all just—it's calm. Too calm. I was definitely closer with Nick at school. Okay, well, because Johnny wasn't there. 
Well, he was still, you know, when I was in year five, he was still in like year nine. Okay, so he's still existent. Yeah. 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 But I was definitely closer. Like you would play football, as I say, with our little like if so Joel like I've known Joel the edge of this since it's twenty five years. I was years. waving to Joel. Oh, I thought you just <laughs> but went... I didn't know which one he was looking at right now, so I, I went to the wall. No, 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 I was waving to the <laughs> no. wall. Sorry, hi, hi Joel. It'll be twenty five years this September. Nice, nice. So like obviously whenever he would come over, yeah. we'd play Mario Kart, FIFA, whatever. So I'd be like, Oh yeah, can I come play as well? And like, come play. Mm-hmm. Like so it's it sort of it became it less of a uh, age, yeah. Discrepancy, yeah. So on on Mario Kart, there'd be four of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Johnny That's would amazing. play. You have the per- and, the perfect and same with his screen. friends, like when yeah. he had friends over, yeah, they would play. I remember they used to play Halo, him and Tim, and like we'd be, we would go up and play with them because it's like, yeah, we need extra players. Come play. Yeah, if yeah. we didn't have friends over, we'd be like, well, we've got a friend over. There was always he, someone in the house. He was always the one that was like obsessed with filming and stuff and johnny mm-hmm. was always obsessed with games nice. so i literally just took, you took the yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was i don't know if this is i assume it's known you were camp like oh, hey. deathly camera shy growing up yeah like well you were like yeah. when you you always used to like look back and say that like with the gold cup you were quite shy as everyone yeah. is when you start YouTube. but no not even that like cause oh no i couldn't take photos like family oh, holidays wow. i was like don't he always goes don't wow. take photos. guys he got photos of me from when i was like young and we go yeah, yeah and we look back through and he's like doing that in every single one uh. <laughs> Yeah, I hate so it. it. Fair enough. But yeah, I literally just stole, you know, yeah. stole Johnny's gaming stuff. Because I used to watch him play games. <laughs> got you. So, got you. And then he and would now, film stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> so you're like, um, okay, so you're interested in gaming. You're interested in filming. I have no interest. So I'll, <laughs> I'll take, take those. those. <laughs> yeah. I'll put them together. <laughs> create this. Yeah. But obviously, it was JJ as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. So That's interesting. It was quite a cool but, dynamic, to be fair, growing up. Like, and then when obviously Simon went into the whole YouTube thing, by then you're already adults. Like, yeah, I think you started nine years ago now. Yeah, just, yeah, December twenty three, December twenty twelve, December twenty twelve. So I was like just entering final year of uni. Johnny had like mm. started his job, been living in London. Like, so everyone was adults already. It wasn't like we, yeah, knew yeah. and grew sort of thing. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Did I meet you before you met Talia? I don't think I did. You know, I mean, we met each other at the house. Yeah. But I don't know if like... No, it would have been before. Which house? The new one. Yeah, the, the second one. I never went to the other house. Did you not? Nah, I've just figured that a lot. I, I I'm always know. like, I've always been around, but not like always in person. So I, I lived in Nottingham, didn't I? Mm. London, London was... I lived in London, but when you guys didn't live in London. Well, the first house, yeah. you didn't have that many people constantly coming in and out. No, yeah. Because the network wasn't as big, but the second house was just yeah. every time people... I still remember G... Um, I was, I, we bought him for birthday. Hard, that's the one thing I have a big complaint about. Yes. Buying for YouTubers is the hardest thing in the world. Oh, damn. I thought you'd like, just, just say Simon. Buying for Simon. Okay, buying thing. for Simon. Like, yes. You just can't, like, once every five years, you'll get a good present idea. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yes, we've nailed it this year. Like the Simon. Yes. But, um, Thanks for that, by the way. But yeah, so. Yeah, my present is saying for him as well. What kind of, what is this? You're well. <laughs> Keep going. Got your back, buddy. But yeah, no, so we thought you've got a pool in this new house. Let's buy an inflatable. Obviously, it's going to be an inflatable poo. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I went into, like, I was like, oh, where can I blow this? And I remember, like, you, the room next to you was the laundry room. But I didn't know. I assumed it would just be another bedroom because there was like, right. 40 or something in that house. <laughs> and so I just went in and wow. it was the laundry room. I was like, well, it's too late. I might as well blow it up. And I was just blowing up this giant poo. And I remember G just walked in. And just kind of like, obviously we had never met and just kind of looked at me and like, there's just this bloke sort of blowing up a poo. Like, and I just like blew it. I was like, hey, aren't you all right? You all right? Yeah, nice, good. Yeah. I just walked off and it was entirely normal. Like, that's how yeah. weird yeah. that. Yeah. I met G there as well. She was, in, she was editing in, well, I guess my room or where I was going to stay at yeah. the time. I was kind of like, can you, can you get out? <laughs> <laughs> not, not in that way, which like, I didn't know she was, I was like, why is there a girl in my room? <laughs> Have you not seen the sign on the door? It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's my room now. But no, not, not, not like, I was just, I'm just Brilliant joking. But, um, over there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just I met, met her there. I, thought, I really did enjoy that. It was, it was a lot of fun. The house. And I did it, I really enjoyed the drive as well. I know that sounds weird because it's like three and a half hours away from my house, but driving through London now, so you, from mm. Nottingham to Matt, from where I live now, it's like you get to London, you get, London's getting to London's fine and getting through it is oh, just a pain. It's the worst, yeah. Literally, so I, I, I was obviously I was rushing to get back for the thing yesterday, and um, I was supposed to go through a tunnel, and my car didn't want me to go through the tunnel, direction wise. And it said eight minutes, and I was like, I don't think if I go round and over the bridge or whatever that I'll get there in eight minutes. 
but I did it as well because again, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm socially awkward. Apparently, to my car as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't even want to change my like sat nav. I'm like, sorry, something. I'll do your thing. Um, and, it, and I was, I got stuck on the bridge, and I was so late, or I could have been so late. Um, and if I just went through that bridge, anyway, London is horrible in traffic. But, the, but your house was amazing. Yeah, it was, oh. just, it was just like I just wish we had that house during uh, COVID during lockdown. Yeah, I would have moved in. Oh, I would, I would have not gone home. It would have been perfect. I wouldn't have been able to go home, would I? I mean, I would have. Yeah. I would have just broke the rules. But yeah. you know, what I'm <laughs> to get over to my wife. Yeah. We, we know. I was. I was uh, actually interviewing someone recently, um, and probably something data protection here, so I won't say anything. I'll change the story. So the person <laughs> we interviewed, um, they're someone they know, and they're very close with, uh, went somewhere overseas to go visit someone, and uh, that's when COVID hit, and they've been out without each other for like a year or two now. Oh wow, mad. They're, they're, they're married. <laughs> Sorry, good little bend bit there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but that's happened a lot. You know, people have gone somewhere mm. and can't come back, stranded. But um, so yeah, sorry to all those who that happened to. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. probably why your family hate you. <laughs> <laughs> they do hate me, especially my dad. Your dad loves you. Nah, he does. He does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just you and him, right? What do you mean? But go to football matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're his favorite. No, no. Well, the others would come if they. Could, but they can't. They're busy and stuff. And you're his favorite. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, nah, um, my dad listens to this a lot. He loves podcasts. Um, What's, What's his name? Are we allowed to know his name? Andrew. Andrew. Oh, same as same as, same as my name. Hmm. And my granddad's called Andrew as well. You're gonna have a son and call them. I really want to call it Andrew. Huh? I really want to call my son Andrew. Do you actually? Yeah. I just feel like now I can't not, right? It's just like... I saw I've talked to you about this in the past and you were like, I don't want to. Are any of your nephews, Andrew? No. Oh yeah, it's on you then. But my brother's middle name is Andrew as well. Hmm. He's the first born. Wait, so your granddad called Andrew. Uh Uh-huh. Your dad's called Andrew. Is he Mm -hmm. the oldest? And then he had two sons. Yep. And a daughter. And didn't call either of those sons, Andrew, then called you Andrew. I, I, I don't think I had a You are the favourite by an, maybe, an absolute mile. Maybe that's mile. why he had you because he was like, I should have I should have no, no, forgot. I, Andrew. <laughs> I didn't have a name for like I I two weeks Andrew? or a month or something like that. I just didn't want to call me so they were like, Andrew, <laughs> why not? <laughs> but for sorry, right, I'll, 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 it's weird, right? So I'm Andrew, my dad's Andrew, my granddad's Andrew, my granddad's dad is John and my middle name's John and then John's dad is Andrew. <laughs> I felt like there was like a, oh, yeah. like a ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> there was no real. <laughs> no, it's just weird. Wow. <laughs> it is weird, man. But yeah, let, let's, uh, we'll change the subject. Simon, why are okay. you called, called that? Uh, That's because they ran out of names. They, yeah, I was actually going to be a girl, I think. Well, they, well, they, meant to they be were going to go. <laughs> they don't pick. Huh? <laughs> they don't, you don't meant to well, be no, it was in like, I think they person. thought I was going to be a girl or something. Well, they also, they, when they had me, they say that they couldn't decide between Nicholas and William. And they were like, you know. We're not having any more. We'll use both names. Yeah, we'll just we'll call him both Nicholas, William. Oh, nice, nice. And that's my middle name. Right, yeah. right. So, that, so obviously when it got to the third one, like. Damn right, it, what do we do now? What do we use? Yeah, yeah. yeah. can we just. Because you can't just give another child a middle name of an older child. Well, yeah. well <laughs> clearly you can. Because <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah, Great. <literally. laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, not in a normal family. Yeah. That aren't psychopaths. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so <laughs> I'd rather be a psychopath than be like normal like you guys. What? Get a good documentary out of it. Exactly. It's just like yeah. fun in it. It's like fire. Yeah, why, why are you on death row? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Netflix. Oh. oh, I so nearly got on Netflix once. I was so oh. excited because obviously Simon's YouTube is yeah, as yeah, big yeah. as it gets. I love finding ways to be on other platforms. Okay. So I can be like, I'm the famous one now. Oh, nice. So I come on Google Street View. Um, nah, you can see like, me on that. Hello. <laughs> I am literally, I was carrying a bag and it goes past, like I was just walking down the street and it goes past and I literally threw my arms in the air and it drives and you just see like, my missus like that. Like oh, right. as I, my hands are going up, her head's going down like That's that. That's so funny. But um, the Netflix one was, cause you were ill. I was actually at home, mum and dad's and you were ill for Kevin Hart yep. and he was playing at the O2 ah, yeah. and you text being like, oh, do you, like, I, I can't make this. I've asked everyone else. Do you want these tickets? I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've asked JJ. He's already going. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, do you, do you want these tickets? I was like, 
yeah, for, for sure. Like me and you, he's like, no, I'm, I'm ill, like have both. Mm. And so I started frantically texting people like, can I find someone to go? Can I find, I was, couldn't find anyone. I was getting really worried that either I'd have to go on my own, which I probably would have, yeah. but, or find someone. Luckily, one of my mates, Sam, oh. decided to come and he's six foot two. And Why we, did you say, oh, because oh, I see, I, I was like, well, how is this connected to Netflix? But now I see where it's going. Yeah. Okay. And so it was his Netflix special. We got there. Yeah. And they were like, and we walked in and not only was it tickets, you had like um, the VIP passing. So it's like a free bar beforehand. Wow. Um, front row tickets. Oh, wow. Or second row. I think. It wasn't even there. I just wanted to be a nice brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Second row tickets for his show. And we went, we sat down, they had all these television cameras pointing, and they were like, we're filming for a movie as well, like his, uh, yeah. his movie. I like, was there. I, I, you, I went you? to the same show, yeah. Oh, you at the same show, yeah. And yeah. they were like, you know, they were like, I'm pretty oh. certain we bought them in the chat. I was on, no, like, I was on my own. No, I know, but I think we linked it in the we chat, and we, we were like, gone oh, together. Okay. No, I'll tell you what happened after. Okay. But yeah, so he started saying, everyone laugh, yeah. everyone do this. So we did all the fake laughs and all that. And I was like, maybe we might make it on something. I haven't watched the movie yet to find out. I watched a distinctive laugh. I tried to. I really tried to, and... And then when the show aired on Netflix, like a stand-up show, you could see like the stage is raised up. Yeah. And you can see Your my friend. six foot two friend and you could see that much of my <laughs> head just at like, the top of it. And you could see me a lot of the time, like trying to like shift, just like, you could just get out again, my eye like comes up like that. Like. <laughs> you, just, you just do like a, a, you know, it's like a stand, standing ovation. You're, you're, is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah, stand, yeah. Standing ovation. Just halfway through Your the first show. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <yes>. Amazing. <laughs> Kevin, amazing. I was so excited to be on it. I remember like sitting down when it came out, I was like, ready for yeah. it this is my night here we go had the camera ready to take a photo to send it on the family whatsapp and i was like nope just that it was like mike wazowski i felt like mike wazowski you know when he's on monsters inc and yeah he gets yeah there. that's how it felt like so were you on the front were you on the floor seats floor seats so you, i must row. have been close to you then yeah we I might was, have even sat next to each other like, no nah, I, was, I was i was not i was not i was on the floor seats but i wasn't up close yeah i sat next to michael antonio though that was sick no, so to, this 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 subject was actually the first ever podcast sub, podcast subject because it was at Vidal's party where I booked the ticket to go see. Because yeah. you you were going, were you going with Tyler? Can't remember. It was no. a while ago. So you were going. JJ was going, and I was like, "Bro, I want to go." I wasn't in the chat. I wasn't not in the chat at the time, so I wouldn't have seen the scene. So I heard you guys talking about it, and I was like, oh, "I want to go." So I was drunk at Vidal's party, right? And I, and oh, I, and I, I, just, I was just booked a ticket, but I, I wish and I woke up next morning. Ticket. Yeah, I went on my own, and I, and I, I, the next day I was like, "Why have I done this?" But I've also like paid like a hundred quid to go, so I might as well go now. So I went, See, and it I was because now if it was the case, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm going on my own," you're like, "Nick, Randolph's going on his own." We'd I'll just go, say hello. I'd say, "Yeah," I'll be like, "Okay, I'll invite a mate." So, but we'll wave to him. Yeah, thanks, thanks, for thinking of, thanks for waving at me. But they move people around in the audience yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you remember that? They were yeah. like, you guys need to mm -hmm. shimmy back or like... But I, wow. I, I don't know why I bought a ticket because like, I was not with anyone. I didn't go with like JJ. Because we were just I, talking about it. I did leave with JJ, which is he drove, drove me home. Well, well, yeah, because I, I was staying at your house, obviously. So like he went and I went separately and we came back together. But um, no, so the funny part about it is I was doing the, you know, you know, uh, the capture on websites, website, you're trying to log in, right? The Google one. Mm. You know, the new one they brought in where it was like, keep clicking until they're gone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I was drunk and I did not understand this and I was there for an, like half an hour, honestly. I was like, oh, guys, I can't do this capture because I was clicking them and then pressing next and it, it just wouldn't work because you, you have to stop click, you have to do it until they're all gone. But I was like, and I, honestly, I was, I was there for like half an hour. Like, was the same way I tried to sell my, do my Dogecoin. Right? I was going to say, you shouldn't use your phone when you're drunk. I know. Literally, like Doge went like to the moon. He was too drunk. He tried to sell it. She couldn't. Woke up the next morning. He's lost a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah. And yeah the worst way is that I tried. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if I just if I just didn't decide to sell, I'd be like, right, that's my own fault. But I did try to sell it. And the, the friends I was with didn't sell it. For, I, I said to them, I was like, please, can you sell my Doge? And they were like, we can't, we can't do that for you. Because obviously, if you're drunk and you wake up, you might be like, why did you do that? You know, et cetera. But anyway, live and mm. learn. Well, did you know that Nick used to be a teacher? I did know that. Um, but he's not now. Because he now runs M7E. But, 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 woo! I wanted to bring it up, but um, I wasn't sure if you wanted to talk about it, so I'm glad you did. Might as well. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. It'd How's it going? to talk about it. It's going, actually, it's picked up now. Well, cause... COVID would have, like, obviously just put the brakes on it because yeah. there's no school. Completely put the brakes in. Cause, so M7E, for those that don't know, we find schools that are in either sort of in areas where the students might not be able to afford to go on the school trips and have these sort of educational experiences. Mm. So sometimes it is like pe come people coming yeah. into the school, like workshops. Sometimes it's sending them on school trips. Sometimes it's creating their own program. Mm -hmm. um, and we work with them uh, and help fund. And it's all funded through through you. Like the whole... 
And so, and, and literally every... <laughs> I'm the only one who can clap, really. <laughs> yeah, every, every penny um, that comes in at the moment, because it's been a CIC, so it's a non-profit, mm -hmm. goes straight towards it. Um, but we've just, as of last week, I'm pretty saying I could say, got charity status. Let's go. Finally, charity. So I can donate. So, so yeah. So I mean, you could have donated it before. But, but it would have gone to like it a It goes to a, a third party website and it goes to yeah. business. And But as I said, because it's a CIC, the way it was set up was no one was allowed to withdraw money from it. Right. It had to be used for the cause, like legally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Whereas now is... I can steal all of it. <laughs> so, yeah, so what? If I donate to you, you're going to take it for a video. If you donate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Siphoning Randolph's donations. But, um, That's not what they're going to do, guys. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no so, so now it's, now it's a charity. So it's still, there's still bits that we have to iron out and work out and, mm. and move everything over, which hopefully will be in the next few weeks. Mm. So redo the website. I think we're rebranding. Um, and then we've already signed up a lot of people for school trips from now because they all want to go on them between now and july yeah so we've signed up like over a thousand students between now and july to go on school trips wow. which is pretty awesome bearing in mind the last year um yeah, yeah and then when it's the charity as i said everything that comes in again legally everything that comes in has to be used to benefit the charity mm. so you can't like can't go to mcdonald's and withdraw it, obviously yeah, and yeah. stuff but oh, i can't work if i'm hungry that benefits the charity <laughs> 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 joking but yeah, so, so it's gone. It's, it was, it was started the first year was going quite well. I think we sent just under a thousand students because it was a lot of it was setting it up, trying to figure out how we can do it best, all that. Second year, we were really getting into our stride and we started working with the same schools mm -hmm. and repeat business and did some amazing trips. Yeah. I think I can't say the schools, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I can say some of the trips that, that we went and like we sent some up in Newcastle to go see like Shakespeare and like who go there once every That's 10 it. years yeah, yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, it's for the schools that like, often don't have these like trips, yeah. right? Because some schools do have like crazy trips, but the ones that don't just miss out. Yeah, so it's, not, we, it's, not their, it's not their fault, is it? Exactly. So we, we do it based on how many yeah. students have free school meals. Yeah. And then okay. we fully fund it for the whole class. That's sick, um, yeah. If they hit the quota sort of thing. But yeah, and, and some of them, like there's one, uh, a Manchester school that again, I can't say the school name, unfortunately. I wish I could because the teacher's mm. inspiring as. They know who they are. Um, yeah. And, um, and they took their kids to... Like Chessington um, Zoo World of Adventures. Oh, the the theme park. I'm not from down here. And <laughs> they created a whole program, maths based, around it. So like, you did the worksheets, you went on a ride, you did the, like the next bit, you went on here to work out the mm. velocity. So it's all learning, and the difference they say in like the students. Oh wow, is massive. So we've That's done that. Big then you must feel proud. It's pretty. It's, it's really yeah. yeah. It's, um, and so we did that second year and third year, COVID hit. No schools, no trips. Did a couple of workshops when it was safe. Yeah. But now it's picking up again. I think the next year, I think you'll really see it. It'll be it. big, yeah. Well, I guess I guess yeah. maybe during COVID, you actually could like figure a few things out as well. Like take some time to think, how can we do it better when it does reopen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and as I said, hopefully get a new website, get new branding. Sick. And, and, and JJ knows, JJ can say it right now. JJ hopefully, can say yeah. It right. yeah. 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 MM7. <laughs> yeah. yeah. MM70 org. Yeah. I miss, I miss the... Fortnite creator fund. That, that, that was, that was why I literally one, yeah. did. Yeah, I literally did. Saying the first, to teachers, however. oh, how did you fund this trip and just go Fortnite? Yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah, like, yeah. And then explaining affiliate marketing. That's sick though, because obviously, like Fortnite is massive for like school kids, isn't it? So like yeah. knowing that yeah. like that game would then fund their own. But I'm not gonna lie to you. The fact that I gave mine all to charity definitely hindered numbers, which is kind of sad. Uh, yeah, mm. it was Whereas literally. Harry... Yeah, it was literally like if you if you just sit like. Yo, use my code because I just I just want some money, please. People will be like, that's funny, I'm gonna use this code. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Where's come on, like, guys, this money. I'm trying, I'm trying to do trying something to do here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but people, yeah, when you say that money is going directly to charity, I don't know. Sometimes people just don't believe it. You know, yeah. People are like, oh well, you know, uh, yeah, it's, that's weird actually. Like someone would rather fund someone get rich, but they won't fund the yeah. charity. Yeah. Charity is weird, but I guess you know, I mean, you you promote it a lot, like so it's like. I guess those Less who so over the last year because yeah, like the last year I haven't done anything. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, we yeah. haven't. It was I, mean, open, yeah. I can't sit there and go like, oh yeah, donate to M7 because mm. we're not, we can't do anything right now. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, as soon as it opens, yeah. And we also did the Sidemen uh, clothing as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but like the, the kids well. love it as well when they go on a trip and they know oh, of course. it was funded through either Fortnite or, or 
yourself sort of thing. When yeah, like, that's the sickest part. Oh, especially like now, like on a, this amazing yeah. thing. And like you could go to an yeah. awful school trip, but if you know that minute minute I sent you there, you're like, this is sick. <laughs> yeah, like, you could yeah. just go to a park and eat an apple. Like, oh my god, make <laughs> <laughs> like you sound this apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really tough year. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's actually sick though. Wow. But so it's, yeah, it's been. I've always really known what it is, but when you hearing you say it like that, and actually thinking about it, it's actually mm. really sick. I don't say that well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I told him it. He's God. like, oh. <laughs> but it's because like we've so there, there's so many Sorry. things done. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so one of this year's things is we want to really get the data because we know and from previous yeah um, studies that people have done, it helps like your grades, but it helps like as you said, like your aspiration, your confidence, yeah. like seeing all these things, like going first time when you go to the zoo and you're like. Okay, I actually want to be a zoo keeper mm. or like zoologist. zoologist. Zoologist, yeah. So we're working with some really cool places. It's That's sick. Keep keep uh, keep an eye out for the next year. I think it'll be a lot of hopefully good stuff coming out. Oh, I wish, well, you, I wish I was... you were around when I was at school. <laughs> it wouldn't take a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not no, all, all kids apart from Randall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna say? Um, well, I was going to try and organize charity matches for it. Yeah. I was trying I to do this. like mm. small charity matches, but every couple months. Yeah. And do like, you know, four a year just for like 3,000 people. Mm, yeah. Not trying, not trying to do side men level. Yeah, just but just like an ice, and also a smaller game, like a five a side, seven a side. Yeah. No, I still do 11 a side, but okay. do like, you know, League Two stadiums where it, you're not selling, you know, we're selling it out, but it's only one it's small, to 3,000 yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, you know, I'm not going to go like, all right, I'm going to fly over phase from America. Yeah, I'm literally yeah, going to yeah. be like, all right, this one. Whoever's down from the troops, for example, you want to just play? Come play. Cool. Yeah, Come yeah. play. It'll be a, and it goes to charity. Yeah. Well, and then all that money goes to M7. I think it'd be really cool. But well, then yeah. COVID hit and it was... Yeah. 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 So, so now things are back. Well, now things are getting, you know, yeah. back to normal. Well, well, I said one of the big things about as well, getting the charity status yeah. um, is that we can now get people to do events for us like i know the that but i mean more like um you know when someone's running a marathon yeah and they're wearing the whatever yeah, yeah, outfit yeah. i don't want to say that, but like when they're wearing the outfits that we can now have someone run you know the with, london marathon with an m70 jumper and, the, and, jumper and that's like allowed, allowed you to do that now yeah so you can do more stuff like that you know that's, yeah. that's exactly really cool, it's yeah. still the same thing it just now opens that up you, like, can, you can you can shout about it more essentially in different yeah. like different categories yeah yeah sick have you heard that? Um, I know someone said last night that the school hours are getting extended. Or well, they might be getting no, extended. I, I hadn't actually read that. Yeah, we, all, we all cheered. <laughs> we were like, yeah. <laughs> more time we can just roam the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's getting are they bad for you lot extended? now. Well, we had long Well, no. We it's just like a 15, proposed. We? Yeah, I think it's being proposed. I know. Oh. And I, I assume, like, I don't know how school it's the works. It's catch up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And in, in, if that happened, would all schools in the country be that, or would certain government ones... government schools okay. would all be advised to? Yeah, okay, um, advised. Yeah, because I know yeah. a lot. Like some bank holidays are different, aren't they? Sorry, some some half terms are different than others. Yeah, depending on where you yeah. are and stuff like that. Yeah, it? which can be really annoying, can't it? Especially when you like work on holidays. Because I know uh, nowadays, right, if you go on holiday in term, you get fined. Yeah, yeah, you can get fined if you're on holiday in yeah. term time. You know, so it's just, it's like for my family and for those who have kids, it's so hard because like. Say you go to Disney World, which is an extravagant holiday. I know it is. It's just yeah. an example. It's so much more expensive. Oh, it's summer. half price if you go during term time. Yeah. Like half how much do so you get fined? It can, it can be a lot of money. Well, that's the worst part is most people well, like now... How much is a lot of money? Because it, it, is it going to be... It can be the same amount as you'd save. Sometimes not, oh, okay. but sometimes can be. Yeah, but I think at first people people would do that. Like parents would be like, "Well, we'll just we'll just pay the fine then because it's still cheaper." But then I think now there's even further. I think like you can go to court. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're really Mad. trying to enforce it. Yeah, so it's, it's but obviously like it's like say Disney World is like half price if you go in yeah. turn time. You get like free meals, yeah. all this, and then you go in like six week holiday, and it's like twenty grand. Yeah, I did. I hated. That and it makes no sense in a way because yeah. like you're just getting you get not only is it expensive, it's busy. So you go there, and it's like well. Yeah, it's just it's mental, but I, I do I do get it. Obviously, seeing 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 someone come in though, when you're the teacher, and it's like seeing someone come into class tanned <laughs> out of nowhere in the middle of December because they've been, been Ill. Ill for a week. <laughs> you're like, so what have you been doing for the last week? Oh, I've been ill, really bedridden all night. Oh yeah, yeah. It's still like the bracelet or something. Yeah, like, with seashells. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to, when I was at school, I had like 100% attendance all the time because my mum would Good always man. send me to school. I, I wouldn't want to, but I, I had no choice. And in fact, right, and I, I got punished for it once. So I, I didn't want to be that kid. And one day, right, we're in, we're in assembly, uh, assembly with the, the entire like year. And um, they, they do, a, uh, they do a, a prize for 100% attendance. 
And it was one of those websites, you know, like random generator. It's yeah. the one where you pull the, pull down the thing and it spins all the names around and lands on someone. And literally I was just sat there and I was like, it's going to be me. I know it is. <laughs> I got, you get a five pound WH Smith voucher. Oh, they were the best. Nah, I didn't even use mine. I was spite. Yeah, no. We, what am I going to do? We're going to buy a pencil case. Yeah. Now I want sweets or something. I want like chocolate if I'm going to win. Or like, or like something. You, see, you buy a pencil case, sell a pencil case, buy some sweets. Who would buy a pencil case off me? Do you me? remember like, <laughs> we had like ones. handwriting yeah. competitions and stuff. Yeah, and I won. Never won. I won. Yeah, 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 I won like I won like three of them in a row or something. And we got WH Smith vouchers like five pounds. I, I, I would love yeah. that if I, if I if I won something that I actually like had to work really hard to get. But oh, the but fact just that turning up. yeah, the fact that I'm a nerd, I've won, I've won, <laughs> I've won the nerd award. I don't think winning the handwriting competition is <laughs> oh, not, not nerd. True, true. It's competitive at least. Yeah. So I, I, as soon as it went, drung, I was like, that's me. And then the name it landed, Andrew Shane. And I had to walk up, and Laura was just wetting herself. I had to walk up all the way, get it. Thank you. I was, I was so mad. But anyway. That was the worst thing about actually being yeah. brothers in the same school was when, not when you walk up, when your brother walks up and everyone looks at you instead. Because they're like, yeah. it's your brother. It's your, it's your brother. And I'm like, I, I, I know. Yeah. I, I live with <laughs> the guy. <laughs> I know this way. Yeah. like we achieved a lot. You got your handwriting three times in a row. Yeah. That, that, is, was a, like, that is a big feat. Again, around year three. Yeah. Just saying. Hold on. I was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your handwriting is not great. My handwriting is, used to is be, good. It used is it? to be incredible. It's still nice. It's just you don't. But write this was also year really. like two, three, four. And you really try. Well, that was when you were writing. You really curl. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, entry yeah. strokes. Yeah. Yeah. Strokes. yeah. Um, I used to. I remember. I used to trade the the voucher with mum. You just buy some food. Uh, no, I'd literally be like, "Can like I don't want this W H Smith voucher. Can I sell it to you? Basically, it'd be like a five pound voucher, and I'd take like two pounds. Wow. Because <laughs> it's I'd be like I don't want this. I'm not going to buy a pen. So I'll give it to you and you give me two pounds back. See, I, was, I was like, it's a good the, deal. I was the guy that when I actually bought a book. I was like, yeah. I like fossils. I want a fossil book. Yeah. <laughs> That's not me, no. I would buy it. I, just, I, just, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't spend it out of spikes. I was like, I don't want to spend something that I've won with 100% attendance. I was so mad at my mom. I was like, mom, I just, oh, couldn't you just let me have one day off or something? Because <laughs> I used to go to my friends. So in like years, like before year 11, I used to go to my friend's house to call for him. And we used to walk to school together. Mm. Towards the end, he used to call for me because I wouldn't get out. I like... He would arrive, right? And I'd be in bed still. Like I'd, I'd hear the door go and he'd, he'd be downstairs. And I'm, I'm in bed. I'm like, crap, I've got to get ready real quick now. I just got lazy, st stopped enjoying that school. Was you, when I drove us to school, when I, I got my license, yeah. you would be like, up, oh, ready, let's go. And I'd just be there, like, just getting out of bed. Like, all right. I was very like, nerd. You were a morning kid. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, it's changed. Every day, like when all three of us were going to school, I'd mm. be in the car. Ready wow. for everyone. Yeah, Waiting. I was I was a kid like walking to school. My hair's like still got, still got bed head and all that stuff. You know. Just, uh, did you have crazy long hair as a kid as well? Nah, nah, just yeah. normal hair really. Um, well, I was ill from school constantly. It felt like you were a lot. Yeah. You were an ill kid. I, I was like at it. least like every three weeks I'd miss one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you do have like it, it, you know a stomach. Right, I got a weak stomach. Yeah, like a very weak stomach. Well, so that's, that's what I'm saying. So I used to call for my friend, and his mum and dad used to work before I get there, kind of. So it's his grandma that was there, and she would like one day she'd answer. Like oh, this happened a lot as well. She'd answer the door, and she'd be like, "I'm not say his name, but she's like, he's not coming to school today. He's ill." And I'm like, I can see him playing COD. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, I, I, and I know he's not ill, but he just wants to play. He wants, he wants to play card. She yeah. believes he's ill, which is great. But like, I would never. Now I'm, I'm like, mum, I'm ill, and I would be. And she's like, no, you're not. You're going to school. I, like, I just want to play card, man. You know, and he was really good at card because he, he had extra time to practice. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. See, but this is something when I was ill. Like, there's you times, Ill. sometimes, but there's other times where you can be ill, but playing a game doesn't like you can play a game. Like for example, now, oh, yeah, 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 like sure, today, yeah, yeah. if I'm ill today, you play a game. I will just sit and play a game. Oh, but your smugness when we used to come home and you'd be playing a game, and like you'd have you'd have had like an amazing lunch. You'd be sitting in your dressing gown, and we'd come home after <laughs> school and just be like this kid. Yeah, and he's like, he's, yeah, but he's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying is when you're ill, yeah, yeah, you can you can just play a game. But I remember having to hide it to start with, and I'd have to be like, because. Um, like mum would go with the duvet sort of thing. No, mum would go like uh, she taught. Uh, she was an interpreter, mm. like sign language. Nice. Um, nice. So she would like go do that, and I'd have to be, you know, I'd lie on the couch and I'd just be able to watch TV. That's all I was allowed to do, really. Cause yeah. So I'd lie lie there with the duvet, just watching TV. And then as soon as she's left, I'd literally just go run up to the window, 
and just stare at the window for like five minutes mm-hmm. making sure she doesn't come back <laughs> and then jump on FIFA. <laughs> yeah. And that'd be it. <laughs> and then yeah. but like I look at the time and like, okay, she's back in about 30 minutes. I should go lie down. Smart, now. smart. Uh, Mark, oh, I have some toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I did that once for church. So like, I I got out of church once because I wanted to play GTA, which just seems so obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like they would go to church. I get my brother's PS2, put GTA, in, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on GTA, and I'm missing church, shooting people. That's like double hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm like, I'm going hell. Um, yeah. My friend just didn't do that. He just firm him playing COD. And obviously, it's always. It's, I mean, imagine how many people from school and work the day after COD comes out are ill. Isn't there oh, like yeah, an actual thing of that? Is like, there? Like there's, it's like the day after FIFA comes out is like yeah, the biggest thing. sick day in like in England or something. Mad. I don't know why. Shit now. But if you're an employer, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't really, you can't avoid it either. You can't like prove it. You know what I mean? No, you're not ill. Sick days are so much harder. Well, now you can work from home. So, but yeah. like, and, and well, you you know, people, employee, but like, people who work from home still are, have company cars. Yeah. I'm like what? Yeah. <laughs> Just well, you, you can't drive it. Yeah. You drive around a circle, come back. So <laughs> so like, carry on there, carry I was on. just saying, sick days. Yeah, yeah. Like when you're at work, it's so much harder to do a sick day, mm. if that makes sense. Because you call in and everyone's like, "Yeah, of course, mate. You should be coming in. Come on." Yeah. Or like you can't really. Yeah. Because everyone just assumes you're hungover. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah. always there. Yeah, yeah. The problem. And like, but with COVID, you know, you you, you know. You, you when can, someone's a sick day, now a sick day is like a sick day. Yeah. Well, no, but some people. Sick days is like like if you. Side men or like even well, I don't know about what's good. Obviously, oh, Josh, was, been on Josh. good streak. But like, do you, if you're ill and you're supposed to be recording, are you like a yeah? I I try and go through or are you? Everyone will normally turn up. There's yeah. literally been like a few I know Josh, cases. Yeah, there, but I guess COVID even was... if it's like so, so same thing as about like playing card. Like if if it's reacts, you probably just go, you know you just have a bit of like a runny nose or whatever, but you still record, right? Yeah. Whereas like, if it's like a side man, even holiday, like main channel, like everyone's always turned up there's been like the occasional time where for example Ethan and Josh both had COVID so like yeah. the day before they were literally just like well I've tested positive like I can't you I can't, can't come yeah, tomorrow yeah. and we're like shit okay we'll just t- change the shoot to fit having one less Facilitate person it, yeah. apart from that literally can't remember any other shoots uh, we had a more Simon shoot where it was which team could run furthest in like an hour and JJ texted like an hour before we're going to be there going like, I've been on the toilet for four and a half hours. Like my, my insides are falling out. And we were like, okay, that's fair. Like you, you can miss a run, like a shoot where all you have yeah. to do in the shoot is run. You can't have diarrhea. Like, you, you know, yeah. Especially on the treadmill as well when you guys yeah. are jumping on after him. If it was like, okay, yeah, we're, we're doing great, a, yeah. a game show or something. Yeah. You could come to the shoot and if you need to go to the toilet, go to the toilet. Yeah. Whereas yeah. The, the whole thing is we run the, we roll the cameras for an hour. He has to run. Yeah. You can't do that. And it's also like when you're at work, like say like a nine to five job, you know, if, you, if you're, if you miss a day or a couple of days, the business hopefully probably still oh, goes yeah, ahead. Continue, yeah. You know, whereas like, you know, it, you having a day off hurts you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it, when it, yeah. when it hurts the business, you're like, oh, okay, that is the screw YouTube, you. The YouTube boss. grind is a scary thing from the outside perspective. Like seeing, because obviously we, when Simon was doing, what was it like three videos a day near enough? Yeah. Filming and editing. And it was like, oh, we're going to go do this. You know, like, I, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, well, from the inside perspective, it's crazy. It's well, I can't. I don't know yeah. how these guys do it. I'm, I'm yeah. burnt out all the time. I'm burnt out right now. And these guys are still going, yeah. like, nonstop. Like, it's baffling, really. It's good. I bet it's good, though, like, being in that, like... Yeah, it's good. It's frustrating, though. Because it's like, damn, I'm not, not doing enough. No, like, I'm not working <laughs> hard enough. Like, it's just, it's a fact, you yeah. know? Things I always look back at the three videos a day and think, oh, like, I was doing three videos a day. Now I'm doing one. But... And then I, for, I forget. Well, I mean, this is... You know, we do a podcast, yeah. side men, more side men react. But as well, what the smart streaming. thing is, is like now, and streaming, yeah. is it does get easier in a sense. So for example, with this podcast, you know, you know yourself yeah, and Joel, editors, will, exactly, you know, I mean, John yeah. as well. So it is easier. Yeah. This doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like work at all, is it? No. This isn't, I mean, you can't, this podcast can't burn me out because I really enjoy it. Whereas, you know, getting a video out every day to a certain quality is the hard part. Whereas back, like, you probably say back then you were posting maybe three a day, but the quality wasn't as good now. Yeah, no. 100%. You know, like yeah. just naturally. And now you can, now, now that editors are like actual, uh, back in the day, they were, they were, if you had to edit, you it's were, a sin. it was a sin. Yeah. yeah. Whereas now it's like, it makes sense. You know, you're running a business, you hire people to well, do. Now you have like Hillier Smith who edits about how other people edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's all a mad, like. Goes deep, for sure, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, just changed, but it, yeah. And I think the hardest part about it, like, we, we were chatting before, so I think to John, we were like, we, we, saying we should like go out more. Now, now you can, we should see, see each other more mm. outside of like, like filming, but. It just doesn't happen. No. And, 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 and I think it will 
No, I won't. Soonish, but like it won't be because it'll not be everyone together. Be it'll be, it'll be gr- certain yeah. groups. It won't it'll be happen. smaller clique won't things. Happen. But like we might go for a meal. It was literally like the other day, the Champions League, the final. <laughs> We're all like, everyone was talking about it, kind of like, oh yeah, like who's going to win, blah, blah, blah. It didn't happen. And me and JJ are like, oh yeah, like who's who's down to do something? Obviously, you can have six people or we can go watch it outdoors and have more, etc. Mm-hmm. Was this on the group? Yeah. That's your problem. Yeah, everyone's replying about everything else. And then we're like, oh, who wants to watch it? Like who's down to do something? He replies, I'm down. Yeah. And then everyone stops, instantly just stops. And then we do it the next day. JJ says like, oh, what's happening? Like, let's do something. And Lux is like, I can't. I'm busy. No one else replies. But that's the thing. Like the moment like people won't respond until someone else responds. That is true And you need one or two and then it's the snowball. And if you get the immediate, a lot of the time people won't respond because they don't want to say no because then you get the no snowball. snowball. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want, and and say like, obviously even in in, in our group, certain people are like closer than others, right? So like if they want to see if their close ones go in, if they're not, then. I, I guarantee if you and JJ were watching it here and you text Randolph, do you want to come over for it? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you text one of the person like separately. They would probably, and you're like, oh, we got Randolph coming over. Like, do you fancy it? We might just ask a few. They Maybe. Like, yeah, but yeah. Then, I, then it's But like, it, it's easier on a group. It is. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, I really can't be bothered to organize every single time. Yeah, it's true. Like, it should it's be, true. it should be more of just like our place. Who wants to watch the Champions League? Yeah. You, you, and you everyone probably, should go, yeah. Yeah. You probably should, you probably I think should there say, should be an app for that or something where you just like tonight and you just put a venue and you just see how many ticks and no's. Yeah. But it's all anonymous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, because <laughs> then you could just then you'll just put yes. Or, or you make it an event. I know it too. once the event starts, then it becomes unanonymous. So you can be like they say and then you give them a card or whatever. To be fair, that is apart from the anonymity part, that is Facebook events, wasn't it? Yeah. But then you had to be Facebook for that. Yeah, true, <laughs> yeah. true. You know? But um what we should what we should probably do is make it an event, actual an actual event. So rather than being like, oh, does anyone want to do something for the Champions League? Be like, we're doing this thing for the Champions League. It's risky because then someone might not turn up. Yeah. But but what I say, what, my point was more like, John was like, "Oh, you're so busy. Like, like how do you even get time?" And you're like, "We're not. We're not though. When, when you're we are all right. We're you, not." You do seem busy both. But, it's, a it, lot but of time. It's, 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 I'm busy at the minute because I'm like traveling and stuff. Either but, that, or you just hate responding. I'm not responding <laughs> to. <it. laughs> I, I've been busy recently, but Actually, in, in general, busy. in general, it's more like um, it's just like you're on call. That's what that's what yeah. being, doing YouTube feels like. Yeah. You're always on call. Like you you. You can't commit to anything. So my family like, oh, are you free for this week for a holiday? And I'm like, I have no idea. We get that a lot. Yeah, yeah like I, I, I might be, but I might not be. They were like, my mom and dad was like, oh, you know, next year, this week. And I'm like, I can't do it. I don't know. <laughs> I let you know the week before. Yeah. And then and, and when when that holiday happened in the situation, something like the Pokemon like hype was going crazy. So I was like, I just can't go. Yeah. yeah. And, and we've got, we got the store now. We didn't have the store last year when it was agreed. Now we that's can't take crazy, time off. That's a good like silver lining of the year. Yeah, it? Like, yeah, it is. But it's, it's, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? But like we, we, like, then often we'll just sit there <laughs> no, watching I'm films. I'm a on holiday. I got my Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like, and then everyone's like, "Oh, these guys are so busy," and we're like sat there watching TV, like, yeah. oh, busy. <laughs> but it's like being available to be to do something. That's what you know? it is. It's yeah, being on call. I remember as well. I always when I when I was when I finished uni and I, and I decided I wanted to get back into like YouTube again. I went on holiday and it was the worst time ever. And I was like, it's just typical. It's when all the Simon distracts went off. Yeah, and I was, I was that's like, the thing that that like potential. Because yeah. even if I'm like, okay, there's no Simon filming, something might come out and I'm like, okay, well, I need to jump on this trend. Yeah, and then it's like, well, I'm, I'm away now. I don't have anything yep. that I can do. Yeah. And so, so like, the, and obviously I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a, back then I was like a producer. Well, I still am now, but like, I'm the guy that, you know, you, if you want to record, I'll record with you. So back then I'd, I'd have been recording all your tracks, you know, but I was, yeah. I was in Wales. I had no internet. I couldn't do anything. So I was like, <laughs> I almost drove back. But. Just it. Because it's like, because I'm, obviously semi-close being related. Yeah. But it's like, I don't have to be on call to be able to yeah, yeah, be yeah. in a video. But it, the amount of times, like, the events pop up and it's sort of, like, I remember l- two years ago, whenever you had the charity football match and it was JJ Logan, the draw, mm-hmm. were both in the same year, I think, mm-hmm. weren't they? Yeah. Wow. Both in the same year. And on both those dates... I had already agreed to like, a, I think that one was like a wedding, one was a... After oh, not a wedding. Weddings like, are always yeah. the hard ones. Yeah, but it was like a, a wedding though, yeah. But, um, and because I said yes already, you can't then turn around and be like, no, and I was just like, oh, now I see why you say no immediately. Like, yeah, it's just in case, isn't it? <laughs> and then last yeah. minute go, yeah, I'll come, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but weddings are the hard ones, because weddings are the ones that you, that you, you that if it's a meal, you're like, oh, no, sorry guys, but you know, something's come up. Whereas like yeah. wedding, you're like... yeah. Yeah, like, it happens like, once in someone's like, life, isn't it? You, yeah. can't, you can't go. You can go for a meal again. You can't get. We well, can get married again, but you know. I think I had like seven weddings that year or something as oh, well. It was, it was a very fun year. Like I did yeah, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. It was great fun. 
But yeah. Not looking forward to when. Actually, I don't think I'll get invited to that many weddings. So I'm thinking, all right. Like, I was, I was about to say, you know, in our school, oh, like, oh, okay, you know, like okay. you're, when that year when everyone around you starts getting married, like your school year kind of thing. And you get invited, as you said, seven seven weddings in a year. How many are going to ask JJ to perform? <laughs> Schoolmates. Eric, no, none. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's bad at music. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll get invited they, to them. They, I went to one. But they, one. They are... I've been to one. One wedding. Yeah. Well, like, no, no, sorry, mate, sorry, sorry. sorry. Wedding. Yeah, I've been to more weddings, but I've been to one school friend's wedding. Oh, okay, yeah. Unless I'm being a bad friend. And you've forgotten someone's. Wow. I think I, they won't watch it, it's fine. Yeah, true. If not, obviously not that good of a friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we've got, we've got One and a half. Of, yeah. We've got a couple of school friends' weddings coming up. And I'm so excited, especially now, because it's like, it's it's the first, I've got one that's um, the missus' school friends, but I'll get on really well with them. So yeah. like, I'm excited for that, because it's like seeing them for the first time on mass. And like the two friends that I won't say their names, but that are getting married yeah, within yeah. the next year out of our friends. I'm so excited for them because it is like it's the reunion. Yeah. Where it's so that's when it gets cool. But it's if if you had one every single week, it would be a bit yeah. maybe. I think you, you guys have done really well at like keeping your school friends like like mm. into this time now. I think I've, I've got like maybe like four. I mean, I only have like ten, nine, eight. Oh, oh, He's whoa, losing whoa. them by the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those guys are like, oh, I almost made it. I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I talked to some of them, but yeah, yeah, like, they but... come to a charity football match. You got your group. You're like, yeah, it's like that's like that's like five. Yeah, yeah. I really like. I'll tell you about one of them after. I remember we met uh, some guys at one of the shows in Nottingham for uh, the the what the New Age tour. They might be listening now. Damn it! <laughs> but I, I met these guys and I thought they were JJ's school friends. But they were just guys he met on Warzone. Oh, on Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Overwatch yeah. Donnies, yeah. There's yeah. a period where he played Overwatch non-stop. When, like, he, when, he, when, he, he, when gets, he quit when he quit, quit everything. Yeah, like he gets Wait, very did, upset. JJ. No, JJ oh, yeah, oh, yeah. in his transforming period. Oh, he's an all or nothing guy, isn't he? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. he'll literally, like a Dragon Ball Z app. Yeah. Like he was literally, oh, he was on that six hours a day, yeah. every day. Six hours. That's a like, so he did the Overwatch period and he literally became like, best mates with like three of these guys that he's never met or anything. And then, they all came to this thing and they were like, oh no, I'm JJ's mate. And I was kind of thinking like, I went to school with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done YouTube with him. Don't know him. who you are. Don't know who you are. Mm-hmm. Like, how is this a thing? And they were like, oh no, we play Overwatch with him. And I was yeah. like, okay. I'm yeah, I, 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 can't, I, can't I, was, I was chatting to him and I was like, you're the Overwatch guys. And they're yeah. like, yep, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the weirdest things when you go to like a, a YouTube event and you're like, this is this, he does this, this is this, we know him through this. And it's like always the weirdest, like, oh yeah, we. how do you know him? Our oh, Discord. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, what? Like, yeah. I, I, I've met a lot of people through Discord. Yeah. Like he would do through Overwatch. Yeah, hundred percent. But um, I've not met many of them yet, though. The Discord's different because you're normally in a server and with people you talk that to you them. know. Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. like Overwatch, you've met them. I, I can only think you've met you've met them online, right? Like you've met them in a game. Like how yeah. is that? Yeah, how has that conversation come up? They've literally gone like, "Oh, nice kill." Oh, yo, should we play in a party together? Yeah. <laughs> and, unless they knew it was Jade. They probably knew it was Jade. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just happened. I, I've had that before where you know you you, you, you played with someone, you won. You play, you, on Rocket League, say, you, you win. Yeah. You're like, Adam's a friend. And you're like, oh, we should, 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 should do voice chat. And you, it progresses from there. But yeah. usually yeah. it happens yeah. the way around for me. I was like, so I'll, I'll meet them on nerves over. of like, yeah, let's voice chat. And it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 yeah. yeah, for me, I'm always nervous. You know how you practice it though? You're like, <clears throat> yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? <laughs> and then you yeah. go in the coin. Yo, <laughs> yeah, always, always. But you also don't know yeah. how your mic sound. You know, yeah, true. you know how you think uh, you sound, yeah. but then you might be like, <sighs> but yeah, yeah. We had that actually. I was live streaming. And this guy was on our team, and um, I think it was Search and Destroy on COD. And he was just sick. So I was playing with Vision Element and Talia, I think, at this point. Yeah, and we were like, yeah, he's sick. Let's just invite him to the party again, so we win every uh, game. Nice. And he just stayed and like the next time we loaded up COD, he just joined the party. We were kind of like, yeah, we know he's, he's all like, he seems okay. Does he, and he's does he good. chat and stuff? Or? Every now and then he would just say something over the mic. And then he came, then he finally came into my Twitch chat and said like, yeah, that's me by the way. And I was like, oh, mad. And then he started streaming like a little bit and I was yeah. like, oh, mad. And then it just kind of, cool. yeah, it was weird. Sorry, sorry, go on. No, no, after you. There's a guy who used to play Warzone and he used to be in Juki's team a lot. Do you know who it was? There's a lot. An American guy used to pair up with Jukies or Wars and they would duo together. They played with a lot of people. I know, but it was, it was when it was like when it was the peak. Anyway, that guy used to play Fortnite. Not like FIFA or VAP or No, not neither of those. They're Amer- American. Um 
Oh. I'm not, I'm not, no, anyway, so it, or, or Canadian maybe. Um, so I'll come to him later. But anyway, so he has some, he met someone through Fortnite when he was playing. Who used to his name was that guy. So say say his name was Miniminter. It would be Miniminter's loot. So he would kill people in the game just to give this guy loot. Yeah, so that's what Symphony that's Symphony gets that. Yeah, yeah. He has one guy who literally somehow gets into a yeah. quarter of his games, and he'll turn up. You know, five minutes into the game, he'll just land a helicopter, get out, and just start like teabagging. Yeah. <laughs> then Symphony just kills him and gets all the money. Yes. It's, it's always like a lot of money and a free helicopter. And Symphony's sweet. just like, hey man, how you doing? <laughs> oh, we had that actually as well when we played Warzone and it was the... Yeah, yeah, oh! What was his name? There was a guy who basically, he, he stream sniped hard. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't try to kill us. But you would kill him and when you play Warzone, for example, you... If I kill you, your mic will play. Like, I can hear your mic for the next, like, two seconds. Mm-hmm. So if you want to say anything, you can. So that's when, like, you get obviously, like, racist shit sometimes sometimes yeah but you get like this guy mr piggles mr piggles mr. that's him piggles. and he yeah, literally yeah, yeah. he literally you kill him because he's standing there he doesn't shoot at you and he just goes subscribe to mr piggles yeah, yeah. and that'd be it and then he'd come back in he's like it's me mr piggles <laughs> every time and he would get in the game find you so easily yeah and just say that <laughs> and then he made like a whole video over it of like stream sniping zerka minimum randolph etc yeah <laughs> it's, it's really and i was like really... you've actually done it in a way that was entertaining and like I mean, I've remembered it. This was like two years ago. Yeah. Mm. Is, he a, is he a thing now? You should see if he's a I don't top tier COD YouTuber. I don't think he is. But I mean, he's, he's got a couple people watching. No, I can't find him. That's because Twitch is so different in terms of numbers. Like, yeah, because YouTube, it's like if someone gets 10,000 views on a video, it's like yeah. still awesome. Yeah. Like 10,000 views, is nothing to be sniffed at. But then you look at all the YouTube, like, wow. Yeah. If someone's got even like 600 on Twitch, a concurrent, like, is it concurrent where it's live? Yeah. Concurrent viewers. It's like, holy moly, like, these guys yeah. are quite a big Twitch streamer. It's- That's why, oh, I hate it. I get so many comments in my stream that are like, has 9 mil subs and he's got like 5K viewers. Oh. And I'm like, I'm happy with 5K viewers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you see Tommy it. Tommy, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you see Tommy in it? Tommy in it. Yeah. yeah. Tommy in it. I was like, I couldn't remember the second part for some mm-hmm. reason. Tommy in it go live and he has 260K viewers. On Twitch? Yeah, yeah. Just play Minecraft. It's mad. That is crazy. And I'm like, well, he's got, you know, half of our charity match, which was a one-off yeah, year big, event. Yeah, promoted for years. And he's doing his series three times a week. <laughs> it's mad. But it's mad. It's fair play. It's mad. Um, I, remember, I, I found the guy's name. Okay. King Richard. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. King Richard's loot. That, 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 was the, that was the guy. And now he's got oh, a channel. Yeah. He, actually, he actually, like, plays games now. He's a good... Obviously, obviously, you have to be good at the games, be able to go kill someone and just bring someone a loot. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But... Met him in America. Did you? Yeah. yeah, he's a sick guy. Yeah. I remember he used to play with, what was it? it was Dukies that he used to play with, right? And they, they always used to be a bit of like a... He played with Casey. Oh, he did play with, he played with Dukies as well. Yeah, but with, so, I know someone always used to play with, with him. It was really hard because like the the, the, the communication barrier. I know it's that was English, Dukies. But, that right. was in one of the tournaments. I think Dukies wasn't in it. So King Richard teamed up yeah. with him. And King Richard is an American who obviously trying to understand an English accent. Dukies is a very... Scouse, right? Like very scouse person, <laughs> like very scouse. So, trying to hear that, but and also like no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? And, and, and no offense to King Richard, like, he's a very good player, but Dukies is on like a complete other level. It's pr- it might yeah. Dukies might be one of like the top top level. best player ever, yeah. really, of Warzone. Yeah. So like the way you want to play with Dukies is just make sure he doesn't he doesn't die, or yeah. make sure you have enough and don't die. Yeah. To buy him back. Yeah. Yeah. Because then he will land in get a load of kills. Might die again, but then you just buy him back. He'll win you the tournament. Yeah, yeah. but in, in, a lot of people would never let Jukies into a, into a tournament. So King Richard like would use his name to get Jukies in and to be a part a, a good partnership. But also, it's like Jukies. I felt like always sometimes getting held back a little bit. I, I do miss that peak wasn't it? it was very fun. Yeah, I still watch. I, you, you still watch Symphony as well, don't you? Yeah. But um, oh man, I just I, I just love it when people. Are so, I love it when someone's so good at what they do. Yeah, and like Jukies is a key example of that as well. He just re- works really hard and just like I- I'd be going to bed back in the day, like four four a.m. and he'd just start going live. Yeah, and, like you're, you're like, like, oh, all right, I'll stay up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just so good. Well, Nick streams on Twitch. Yes, yes, not as much as I should, but again, that you is internet should. problems. Not much well, as no, I, I, like I really, <laughs> yeah, I really it, it, enjoy it. You have no obligation yeah, whatsoever. As a hobby. No, yeah. but like I really enjoy it because it is. And I was I was, I was actually speaking to because I. I I play football on Saturdays with a bunch of schoolmates like uh, for our old school team. Yeah. And one of them came up and we started speaking. He was like, oh, I've just followed you on, on Twitch. I'm nice. Like, That's cool. Like, and 
just like, and he was the last person I'd expect to. He's like, right, right, let's do this selfie then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he's the last person I'd expect to sort of be in Switch, but he sort of explained why. And I was like, that makes sense why you, you are. Nice. Like, but it's, it's like such a good community. It, it actually Whereas is. Whereas yeah. I, because one of the, the big thing that I, I, I just stay off Twitter because I just, the community. Yeah. No, Instagram, I'm, I, I dabble with every now and again, mm-hmm. I'll go hard for a month and then I'll sort of post once every other month yeah. sort of thing. But like, I feel like Twitch, once I get good internet and a good camera, like face cam, yeah. I feel like it's a really fun, like people are sportive. They just, sometimes they'll just chat on their own and you can just edit some photos, play a game, do, do what you yeah. want. Yeah. And if people want to watch it, they watch it. If they don't, mm-hmm. they don't. It's, yeah. I love Twitch. Yeah. It's, it's good fun. But as I say, I, I don't, I don't really have good enough internet. So it's very sticky, but cause hopefully when, you can build it up. Yeah. Back, when, when I first started, it was Tony Hawk's had just come out with the remake. Yeah. And I was like, I'll play it. And then PlayStation has that go on Twitch live. So I just clicked like, yeah, sure. Go live. And you raided me. Like, and I'd literally, the worst thing, <laughs> the worst thing was I had no cam, no microphone. I was just playing Tony Hawk <laughs> and I had it up on my like phone, like with the, the chat. Yeah. Cause I had, um, Joel who also twitches. Can I shout yeah, out? Yeah. Shout out Joel. Just shout out Joel. Joel on Twitch. Um, and he came into my chat once, right? And he's, he's like yeah. chatting to me. And I was like, this is weird. Who are you? He's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like it's me. I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's great. Great. Yeah. So I, I play more games on his Twitch because his internet, like right. I can only do one thing on the internet stream or play. Yeah, yeah. So I'll play. So me and Just State Joel will play together. But yeah, and I was playing Tony Hawk's and I literally finished the game. Like I was like, nailed it. This was two days worth of fun. Like, mm-hmm. like wiped my hands with it. And as I finished the game, I just saw my thing go... That always happens. And I always like, happens. What? And then so Simon would like text me being like, lol. Or something <laughs> yeah. like that. And I was just like, Shit, I guess I've got to keep playing. So I just went on a half pipe for about 20 minutes <laughs> and just went on a half With pipe. With no audio. And no, no audio, no nothing, just on a half pipe. And people, people, people were like, and people this is would go, amazing. Yeah, people were like, oh, this guy's so good. And obviously it went from like 700 down to like 300 pretty quick. Yeah, just, But it was yeah, still yeah. like, I, was like I, I don't want to leave, but I've got literally nothing to do yeah. right now. I feel like oh, it always happens. Whenever you raid someone, they're always leaving. Yeah, They're always doing something else. They always leave the room. That's the word. It's just, it's like always bad timing. It's like some, some some sort of god up there. That's like I want to make that guy go for a pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just as you get raided. Yeah, we we raided from from Joel's one the other day. We I think it was you had raided us um, when we were playing like I've forgotten the name uh, Destruction Derby sort of game, the new yeah, free play yeah. on the PlayStation, and we were playing that Wreckfest, and yeah. you raided us, and it was a hell of a hour. It was so much fun, and um and then we're like, who should we raid? Who should we raid? Yeah, let's raid Ellen just mm. for a bit of a laugh. And read him, and he was yeah, he was off taking a wee. <laughs> it was like yeah. three. You went, oh, now nah, he knew, geez. he knew. Yeah, he's the type of guy to see. Was, oh, Nick's just uh, raided me. I'm gonna go for a wee. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, want to thank yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam's really a, like he seems like a nice guy. But he's like, <laughs> in, I'll tell you, in person, the podcast was the hardest episode I've ever filmed. Yeah. <laughs> <It's such> a, <laughs> <laughs> afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, right? He's literally just like, you got to make sure you don't put this in. Don't put this in. <laughs> Does he know yeah. we do this? I don't care. I don't either. Right, he's it's, it's him. <laughs> We need it's to a make horrible human. <laughs> yeah, we should. Really yeah. bad thumbnail as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he, yeah, he's yeah so you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't apologize to someone if they kicked a puppy. That's Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't. <laughs> That's too far. That is too far. A kitten, maybe, but not a puppy. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't really have anything else to say. I nah, see so him. What I talk to Twitch? him a lot. <laughs> oh, uh, I think it's Nick W. Minter. But as I said, I won't be on too much but I will put pick a link it up in the, put in the description within the next within I was gonna say he can put his own link in the description yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> true it? true oh yeah I'm doing my and Joel's, Twitch, Joel's my in. Instagram my like you're gonna have a big pop Facebook. up it's just gonna be it's just gonna be an ad where it's subscribe like, to me <laughs> it's him no it's him um, just going hey guys <laughs> just yeah. at home just real <laughs> <laughs> you have the power we were interrupting that. the podcast to just watch my stream yeah <laughs> here's, a, here's an hour of my stream yeah definitely but uh, yeah thanks for watching also shout out to the sponsor skillshare this week so yes make sure you click the link in the description and make sure you put the link in the, in, link in the description oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah i guess is that it it's thanks been really, for it's been thanks really for coming on thanks hey, for it ends, you know, it's always like well but anyway bye bye now bye <laughs>